Welcome in. Hello, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. The last live, as soon as I got on, it told me to reconnect. So we're reconnected. How's everybody doing? I hope y'all are having a great day today. In the Kitchen with Gina Young is going to be showing you all an amazing recipe for garlic parmesan chicken wings. Come on in. Come on in. Hello, I see the first person in here. Give a thumbs up on your way in. How are you? Come on in, introduce yourself, say hello. Thank you for coming in. Hey, there we are a little bit in prime time. Prime time, how you doing? Mo over there, hello, Maddie Watts, Anita Miller. Gina's all pumped up. Gina's all pumped up. Felicia, uh, Valencia Allen and Hungry Me. Geneva Smith and Gina Williams. Hello, Tracy, Barbara, Leticia, Shawanda, Rachel and Nancy, Shirley Hill. Saj is here, Balance Everything is here. Okay, this is great. Nicole, how you doing? Lavia, hello. Tanya, Q Jones, Tamikia, hello. I hope, Tamikia, am I saying your name right? I sure hope I am. Renee, Q Jones, how you doing? Uh, what's your name? Sharina Belly. Hello. Dolores. Hello. Rose and Linda. Today's going to be a great day. Brenda, how are you today? Listen, we're going to have a lot of fun. Renee. So are you Renee P? Hold on. There's two Renees in here. <laughs> Gwen and Emily. Wanda McMorris. Mary Addison. Hello. Saj, how you doing? Marsha, M Misha, Mashara, hello. How are you? Who's ready? Hi, Sonia, how are you? Debbie Parker, hello, hello. Geneva, Alyssa, how you doing? Who's ready for a chicken recipe? I, here's the thing. I feel like the world loves chicken. So why not come on here? I'm going to show y'all how to make this quick and simple, delicious chicken wing recipe. You're never going to forget it. And it's so easy to make. Gwendolyn, how you doing? Brenda Posey is just smiling. <laughs> Brenda Posey, how are you? Alyssa Wooten. Tracy Saj says, I'm doing, Gina. I hope all is well with you. All is well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There's Sonia once again saying hello to Saj. Kimberly loves fashion. Hello, Chanel. Um, okay, Sonia says, I'm, I'm totally ready. Lucia Davis, hello. Now, give a thumbs up. <laughs> Back out the live and give a thumbs up. Back out, give a thumbs up, and then you come back in. Everybody, I can see all 182 of you, and ain't nobody giving a thumbs up. So you're going to need to back out of the live, give a thumbs up, come back in. During this live, let's make sure, I always have to repeat myself every live. Let's make sure that the thumbs up match with the people that are in here as long as we're in this live, okay? I Because I'm going to be cooking my heart out for y'all. least you can do is give me a thumbs up. Kay Coffee, how are you today? Christopher, how's it going? Robert Rose, hello. Alan Fairchild said I gave a thumbs up. Valencia is so ready, okay. Tanya M.A., hello. Little Bit says I'm just watching. Okay, yo, yo, thank you. Sheila, thank you. Mick Farrell, I don't know what that name was. Okay, that yellow is bussing on you. <laughs> thank you, Prime Time. Thank you so much. I really, honestly, I wasn't too sure about wearing the yellow today. I was going to totally do black and white, and I said, well, no, let's, like you said, let's be bright today. <laughs> April Gaines, hello. Mary Graham, hello. So what we're going to do, we're making the garlic part. Did they, were, did they give me fresh garlic? Where is it? You put it away? I need it. Um, Candace says, I love you too, Gina. <laughs> oh, because yesterday we went live. I, when I first turned on the live, it told me to stop the live and reconnect it. So that's what happened because I had started the live. I said hello and the internet just crashed. So that's why I'm on here a second time. So what we're going to do is... Um, 
we are going to make sure you put those dishes away. We're going to um, wait like five minutes, give a couple more people some time to come into the chat, get their ingredients all ready and everything. And after that, guess what we're doing? We're going live. We're going live, we're cooking together. Well, we're already live. We're gonna start cooking, okay? Derek Eads, how you doing? Esther, hello. You just got here, you're not late. Let's see, this person, Fanny, Fanny Ridley, says, I cooked your honey garlic chicken and my family loves it, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Mildred, how you doing, Mildred? Hey, Penny Keller. Mildred, how are you? All right, Donna M. Hello. Hey, hey, Gina from the Famine Chat. Love the yellow. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like the yellow today. Miss B. Hello. Nicole Stucco. Lavia Parks and Sue Gaskins. <laughs> All right, so we got about three more minutes and then Gina Young will jump up. Let's run over the ingredients that you will need. Thank you, Rachel. I am fine, Gina says Mildred. Okay, that's great. Today we're gonna have a fun time, okay? I promise, we're gonna have a great time. I saw the salmon recipe and you made yourself. Oh, Renee, oh my goodness, okay. Thank you, Penny Keller. Penny, how you doing? Sea Life's Beauty is back. Hello, welcome in. Um, uh, 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 what the heck? Oh, ingredients. You're gonna need some chicken wings, okay? You're gonna need some vegetable oil. You're gonna need um, soy sauce, pepper, garlic powder, one and a half sticks of butter, Parmesan cheese, parsley flakes if you want to use fresh garlic you can and chicken powder okay so you're gonna need you're gonna what you're gonna do oh you made the chicken tetrazzini linda i know you enjoyed it let everybody know how you liked it if you enjoyed it christopher i'm having a great time no you didn't miss anything yet so derek says hello to everybody zadi how you doing Oh, you was only getting a chat. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Um, now, I have whole chicken wings here. You may have the wing dings where they're already cut. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be breaking my wings down a little bit. If you want to make french fries, you want to fry them, go ahead and fry them while we're cooking. Or if you're going to be baking them in the oven, go ahead and turn your oven on so it can be preheated. You can throw french fries or tater tots in the oven if you, if you wanted to. But if you want to have celery and carrots on the side, you can cut up some celery and carrots and dip that baby in blue cheese or ranch dressing as well, okay? But the main star today is the garlic parmesan wings Gina Young style. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited because you have to see. A lot of people think, let's, let's just talk about this real quick. A lot of people think that cooking is hard. I'm gonna show you in this recipe today how easy it is. I'm just taking notes again. It's too early for you to cook and to eat. Okay, Tandria, okay. Okay, so you're having french fries. Dakari, how you doing, Dakari? Dakari, thank you for coming in and joining. Everybody, welcome, Dakari. I always see you in the comment section of the videos, so I am happy to see you here in our live chat. If there's any single person in this live that is new, please say that you're new so we can welcome you in such a way. Decori, we are happy that you're here. Rosalind, hello. This is great. It's Saturday. I hope y'all are having a good time today. I'm new. Derek Eats. Go ahead and welcome Derek Eats. <laughs> he ain't new. Derek Eats is not new. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal, how you doing from Houston? Welcome in. Yes, Dakari, it's so it's so great to see you. Thank you for coming in. Finally, hello guys, says Ron. Ron, thank you for the email um, this morning. I definitely appreciate it. I sent you another email telling you what the whole get up was about, okay? I didn't get your, I didn't get 
get your second email, okay? But I did get your email and I responded back to you. All right, all right, all right. Who's ready to rock and roll? I'm gonna get my apron. Let's get my apron. Or, or here's the thing. Do you all need a, a good five minutes? Do, do you need uh, five more minutes? Okay, Queenie says, I'm ready. <laughs> yes, it is. It's time for wings. All right, Q Jones said, let's rock and roll. <laughs> it's so crazy. Let me, let me just tell y'all, this is nuts. I don't know how this happens to me. Let's talk about this real quick. Now, uh, when I, I started getting dressed at 1.30, I, here, let me see. I started getting dressed at 1.30. For some reason, I wasn't dressed until 3.40. <laughs> How does that happen to me? I have no clue. I have no clue. So at the last minute, I was ripping and running and, you know, having them help me plug the lights in, telling them, y'all grab the chicken out for me, so-and-so. Get the Parmesan, get the, <laughs> I'm just, I was just like a mess. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I was daydreaming while I was getting dressed. I don't know. But it should not never take me that long to get dressed. From 1.30 <laughs> to 3.40, that's too long. <laughs> Raymond, how you doing? Welcome back, Thomas. Hello, Sonata. Hello. <laughs> okay, I'm new here too. Y'all welcome Derek Eads. <laughs> All right, let's get the aprons on. I'm going to show y'all the babies. The babies are on the floor and they are playing. They'll probably walk over here. They were just playing. But now they know I'm talking about them. There they are. Hey, say hi, guys. Say hi to the people. Uh-oh, here they come. They're going to come jump on my leg. <laughs> All right. So I have, guess what I have? came right in time today new microphones and we're gonna see how they work and you all will get to see um tell me hey if it's sounding good or if it's sounding bad we can change the volume and and fix it okay it looks like i have over a half a battery life on the new microphones so we'll see how they work y'all just let me know Dakota what's the volume that we said we would do Dorothy Hall let me see Dorothy Hall Dorothy Hall welcome to my channel thank you for coming in everybody welcome Dorothy uh, Gina it's my first time posting in the chat I love your natural hair and what do you use to keep it looking so healthy and full well, I make sure that I get my ends trimmed. I use Design Essential Products. You can find Design Essential Products on Amazon and Sally's. And I get my ends clipped. I get my ends clipped every two to three months. Um, I get deep conditioners every two to three months. And I just keep it moisturized with um leave-in conditioner leave-in conditioner my hair has to have leave-in conditioner and i don't wash my hair too much wash my hair maybe three times a week out of a seven day okay and, and on days that my hair looks a mess you will definitely see me wearing a hat <laughs> so thank you all right so let's get the microphones on we're gonna get started cooking gina young's down if you're in this live go ahead and give me a thumbs up back out Back out to give me a thumbs up, y'all. Come on now. You want to have a good time here. Dorothy, I'm happy to have you here. What should we turn the thing on, Dakota? Keep it on. Keep it on 12? Okay, so I'm going to put the volume on a different setting. If y'all don't agree with how it sounds, say something. We can click a button and we can change the sound at any time. Okay, everybody got me? You got me. You all are smart people. All right, so we got it on 12. I'm connecting it. You're going to hear the sound leave, and then the sound will come back on. It's 
go ahead and put the microphone on. Uh-oh. Yeah, we can put it right there. Okay. You gotta hear the sound leave real quick. It'll come back in. Are we good? We good on the sound? My holy king, hello! Chloe, hello, welcome in. Thank you for coming in. It looks like you're a new person. Welcome to my channel, everybody. Welcome, Chloe, to Gina Young's channel. Let's get the apron on for the like the, the, the millionth time, okay? It's really time to put the apron on. Don't 
while. <laughs> Recipe. 
But you see, look how much I'm making, y'all. I'm telling you, between me, my husband, and Dakota, we're going to go through these wings. At least Dakota is. I know Dakota going to go through more than half of these. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but he do like them. <laughs> All right, not closed, knocked off. Drew, how you doing? Did you find your moose, Drew? Did you find the moose that you was looking for yesterday? Let me know. I know yesterday Drew was looking for a moose to pet. <laughs> That's the last I heard from Drew. <laughs> yes, she's starting to cut up her wings. She always gets the big ones. Yep, that's what I'm doing, Heidi. <clears throat> hey, listen, here, here's what I want y'all to do. Y'all, the people that's not cooking with us, like maybe Mildred or just anybody, Drew, um, if you're not cooking, Derek eats. Y'all can uh, get a pencil and a piece of paper and write down some good ideas for us to talk about. Some good topics for us to talk about this evening. Because we're going to chit chat for a while. And I want to have something good to talk about. I, I know that there's one thing that I love to talk about is I like to talk about the old times. The, the back in the days. You know, like games back in the days that we played, things that we did back in the days, you know, um, just back in the days memories. So we can definitely talk about that. Everybody always has a fun time when we're talking about back in the days games that we played, things that we did, you know, just like simply riding a bike. Because I tell you one thing, kids don't ride, you don't see kids riding bikes nowadays. You don't. Listen, Dakota... He has, what, what's the things? Dakota's got two hoverboards. One of them plays music. It's got Bluetooth connected to it. Adults can fit on it. He don't want to ride it down the street. He don't. That thing go a million miles an hour. You can spin and twist and turn, do all types of stuff, right? He don't want to ride it. He got three bikes downstairs. Oh, he got remote control Maseratis and stuff. He, he don't want to do none of that stuff. But we're going to talk about it. You're kind of going like this, like, don't, Mom, don't talk about it. But we're going to talk about it later because we need to talk about what the kids, the kids nowadays, they just want to play the video games. We're going to talk about this. <laughs> All right, I'm almost done chopping my wings up, right? I, you know what? The, every time I go to get wings, or, you know, I order wings because I have my food delivered, every time. They bring me the biggest wings ever in lifetime, right? I didn't want big wings today, but that's what they got me. That's what they got me. You all say, Gina, where you get them big wings from? From Kroger's. They are huge. Sometimes I just want a regular wing that don't, you know, that's not huge. Okay, I got all the wings done. All right, so what I'm going to do, i got to wipe this down to keep down on sanitation. You want to make sure that everything's nice and clean, okay? And then I'll come back with a clean cutting board and nice clean hands, and then we'll proceed with our recipe. I am so upset. Can you go get a hand towel, Dakota, that I do not have paper towels today? I don't have paper towels. I, I can't believe it, I know. I know, no paper towels today here at the Young's house. But we're going to work it out. All right, let me wash my cutting board and my hands. Okay, you got a towel. Okay, that's great. I'll use this towel. This is great. Okay. Getting my hands impeccably clean. I couldn't be more excited to show you all this. Now, once the wings are cut, this recipe comes together so quickly. Like, trust me when I tell you this. Okay, what we're going to do with this, I'm going to wipe down this just a little bit. I like to keep everything nice and clean, y'all, as I'm working. You hear me? Oh, wait, you have to. Because if you don't keep things nice and clean, you're going to be stressed out. And that's one of the last things that I want is to be stressed out in my kitchen, you know? All right, let's get this cutting. 
cutting board together. It's just something you have to do. If you cut raw meat on your cutting board, you're going to turn around and, and wash that cutting board before you reuse it. So you don't transfer bacteria, you know? I mean, you could always swap out another cutting board if you have one. All right, let me dry it and I'm coming back into the equation. Okay, we're in good standing. Fix my buddy a special way. Uh, oh, Dakota. Oh, Drew loves it. He loves it every time I say, you hear me? <laughs> we get the big pack of paper towels. They last forever. They don't last forever here at the Young's house. We get the pack. I don't know if they have like, how many do you think they have? 24 in a pack? We get those and they go like this because I'm constantly cooking, constantly doing uh, YouTube videos and lives. And I be needy and we use them for cleaning. Maybe that's where we're going wrong. We're using it for cleaning. <laughs> we go to clean the refrigerator off. We're using the paper towels. Cleaning my boy off paper towels. So maybe that's, that's the issue. Okay, so now guess what we're going to do. We want to go ahead and season these babies. Okay? And what we're going to use is garlic powder. Don't be afraid to season. I don't want you out there afraid to season, and then your food is flavorless. Do you hear me? Like, trust me when I tell you this. Don't be afraid to season. Garlic powder. You can use paprika if you want. Black pepper. You need it. If you're afraid to season, it'll be flavorless. All right? Beautiful seasoning. Okay, and the paprika, only if you want it. Like I said, only thing the paprika is going to do is it's going to give you a darker color to your chicken. It's not going to bring it flavor, okay? And then I'll take my rings off and I'm just going to run through here and kind of mix in all the spices to every piece of the chicken, okay? And then we're going to put some soy sauce on the wings and we want the wings to set for about, uh, let's just say, maybe a good 10 minutes and then we'll begin to start cooking them okay because i really want for these gorgeous spices and the soy sauce to seep into that beautiful protein just like so okay somebody is laughing Saj is laughing at drew oh lord what is drew doing again my goodness drew what are you doing drew what you got going on today Drew, what do you have going on today? All right, so now let's go ahead and put the soy sauce on. Don't, uh, don't worry about how much. Just get you some soy sauce on here, okay? And then we're going to rub them all together, making sure we get that soy sauce on there. It's going to serve the purpose as the salt today. That's good enough, okay? Uh-oh, you said I'm always acting up. Okay, now look at this. Here's how I like to mix in them spices to the wings that are on the bottom. Okay, that soy sauce is going to bring us great flavor. I just need you to trust me when I tell you this, okay? Look at that. Oh, oh me oh my. Me oh my. All right, we're going to let them set for 10 minutes. Let them set for 10 minutes just like that. You don't need to bother them. Go ahead, wash your hands. Okay, so let's see. Christopher is saying, what? What are they talking about? My goodness. T. Smith, tell me what they're talking about. Uh, it was so funny the other day, y'all, when y'all told me, uh, y'all was talking about something, right? And y'all said, we are the trolls today. And I went back and I watched the live later on that day. It was so funny. I said, they are totally nuts. I said, they were nuts in that live. I was laughing half the night re-watching the live. If y'all ever get a chance or you get bored, re-watch the lives and watch how much. And look at the messages. Look how much you will laugh at you all's messages. I 
said they are total nuts in there. But we had fun that day, didn't we? I couldn't figure out what you all were laughing at. But when I went back and watched the replay, I said they was cutting up in that log. <laughs> we do, K-Coffee, we do. We have so much fun. So now, I, I think this is something that we can do to make time pass. Because, remember I said, I want those wings, I want those wings to sit for a good 10 minutes. I really want the soy sauce, the garlic powder, and all those beautiful flavors to seep down into the wings. So just set them aside, okay? Now, what we can do, if you all are ready, I want to show you how to make the garlic butter sauce, and we can do it right now. Are you ready? If you're ready, we can make the garlic sauce and get it out the way, and then when these wings are done marinating, we can just fry those wings up and toss them in this garlic butter parmesan sauce, okay? Is somebody out there ready? but I promise it's okay. Let's chop it down. Okay? This is the garlic parmesan sauce that we're making. We're not going to put the parmesan cheese in it yet until the wings are done. Okay. So we got fresh garlic, right? Or you're using it or you're not. Okay? Let's go ahead and put it in that oil. Okay? Let's begin to cook the garlic, okay, until that garlic, <clears throat> excuse me, until that garlic gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Right when the garlic gets golden brown, you're going to take a stick and a half of butter. It can be, uh, Ron brought up a great uh, question yesterday. He said, can the butter be salted or unsalted? And, um, Either way is fine. It can be salted or unsalted, okay? But you're gonna need that stick and a half. We're gonna use parsley flakes. We're gonna use garlic powder. I need more garlic powder. Where's my gar garlic? Where are you? If I were to look for you. There you are. <laughs> parsley flakes, garlic powder, Parmesan and chicken powder. Uh, Dakota, you're going to definitely have 
have to grab my chicken powder because it's up there way too high. And you didn't get dressed for the video. He got, he got pajamas on. Now come on over here and get the, the what you call it. Everybody can see you, in, see you in your pajamas. I tell him when he goes to work, be dressed for the job. And now he's in pajamas. Go ahead, grab, grab. <laughs> he flipped it. He flipped the camera over, y'all. <laughs> Flavor. 
If it's still light in color, it's gonna be really pungent. I don't want mine that pungent. So I'm gonna take the time to let it get golden brown, and then we're gonna put in that stick and a half of butter that we need. If you're having fun in here, somebody say we're having fun already, Gina, and we ain't really got started yet. Okay, you enjoy? Uh, Red Kuwait, yep. Yeah. Purple Love, hello. All right, so I'm very, very happy with the color of my garlic. Let's go ahead and put our stick and a half of butter in. Now the stick and a half of butter will help to calm the garlic down so that it doesn't burn, because you don't want it to burn, okay? Go ahead and turn the burner down to low, because you don't want to burn your butter. <laughs> If you want to make a lot more of this garlic parmesan sauce, then you go ahead and use two sticks. Okay, I'm just going to use a stick and a half. All right. Now go ahead and mix it right in with that garlic. Okay, so right now what we're making is a garlic butter. Okay, your house should really begin to smell good. Okay. Mine is getting golden brown. Okay, Sonia, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, turn your heat down all the way down to low so you don't burn your butter now, okay? All the way down. If you need to do this, come look at my pan. If you need to pull it away for a second, you think it's heating up too fast, don't be afraid to move it to the next one that's not hot, okay? So now, what do we want to do? Well, I'm going to show you. Let's put some parsley flakes in because we want to make it nice and purdy. Okay, that's just for, for color, for visual. Now, I'm going to put nuts with my garlic powder on purpose because we want it very garlicky. You put as much or as least garlic powder as you want. And if you didn't use fresh garlic, then you put three nice heapings of the garlic powder in, okay? Check me out. Okay? Next, we're going to put some chicken bouillon powder in. Um, I spoke to somebody last night, I believe it was on my message or in an email. They said, I have all my ingredients, but I don't have the chicken bouillon powder. They said, but I have bouillon cubes. I say, here's what you can do. Take the bouillon cubes, crush them babies up. Put them in a Ziploc bag, use your hand or use a pan and crush it up into a powder. And now you can do this along with us, okay? I'm going to put two heaping teaspoons of the chicken powder in, okay? Let's mix it. Here's where everything gets totally exciting, okay? And guess what I want you to do? When this cools down a little bit, because I'm not going to tell nobody to touch nothing hot, when it cools down, I want you to taste it and let me know what you think <laughs> of this right here. And this ain't nothing, guess what? This ain't nothing because we ain't even put the Parmesan cheese in. But we're not going to put the Parmesan cheese in now because it'll get real clumpy. It'll be right before our wings come out the pan. Then we'll throw in Parmesan cheese. We'll shake our wings in this. But if you can get it on your spoon and it's cooled down, don't do it until it's cooled down. Taste it. Ha! Ha ha! Oh my goodness! So good! Oh yes! Somebody, somebody! If you tried it, let me know. I want a little bit more color. That's parsley. So this is done. 
Let's move it out the way. Like I said, this here, don't worry. I'm going to tell you the perfect time to put this in your sauce, okay? I'm going to move this out the way. We're going to take our wings. We're going to put them in a hot pan. Get started browning them, okay? So now let's put this on like a medium, medium high. You don't want to turn it up too high because the outside of your wings will get dark. The inside of your wings won't get done. So medium high. That's the temperature that I want you to have this on, okay? You didn't grow up on Kool-Aid, my goodness. Oh wait, Kool-Aid was really special at my house growing up. Alyssa, it is, the sauce is so good. All right, so I'm getting my two pans of oil heated up and the wings are gonna go in our heated up oil, but you cannot put your wings in the oil until the oil is nice and hot. Okay, so right now it's not hot. I say let's give it about five minutes and then I want you to put your wings in nice and easy because I don't want anybody out there to burn yourself, okay? And I do know that there's people that's afraid of oil and I can totally understand that, right? And since I can understand that, I want to tell you what not to do. Don't, don't take the wings, put it in and jump away. Okay, because that will splatter it. I'm going to show you how I like to lower my wings in without getting burnt. Uh-oh, Drew says he is laughing over there. Okay. Gina, did you eat Kool-Aid and pickles back in the day? I never did. Not Kool-Aid and pickles. <laughs> Kool-Aid and a bologna sandwich with mustard, maybe. <laughs> My sauce tastes good. Valencia, yes. I love to hear it. It does. It's so good, right? And when you take that fried wing and you just drench it, people go nuts over the sauce. We have a troll. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Hide user from the channel. You never heard of that? Yeah, Kool-Aid. And I would have a bologna sandwich with mustard on it. We had put chips on the bologna sandwich and Kool-Aid on the side. And my dad would make me a tent out in the backyard and I would sit underneath that tent and I had a baby doll. I did, I had a strawberry shortcake baby doll and my dad would bring me and the baby doll food. And it was just me and the baby doll and we would have a good time under that tent with the bologna and mustard sandwich, Kool-Aid, and he would also bring me a bowl of grapes. <laughs> Dion, what, what's wrong, prime time? I can't wait to eat these wings. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I need to see if my oil is hot enough, okay? So what I'm going to do to see if the oil is hot enough, I'm going to put a wing in. If that wing does not sizzle, then it needs to heat up a little more. And it looks like I can heat it up for about three more minutes. And then we put the wings in and we'll leave them alone. And now we'll flip those wings once you see a beautiful golden brown color. And no worries, you're not going to have to bother them to see. You'll begin to see a beautiful golden brown ring. And that's going to be your indication to flip them over, okay? Medium, between a medium and a medium high heat. And you stay near it, so... Um, you can keep a good eye on it. <clears throat> oh, you, okay, you're talking about the troll, okay. The ingredients, where are the ingredients for the recipe? They're in the community post. 
the community post that I posted this morning and yesterday. Okay, Gina, my links are in a covered pan or not. It smells good in here. You can cover your pan if you like. Great question. Uh, with foil or a lid, or you can just leave it where it's not covered. My oil's nice and hot. Come take a look in at that wing, but getting to sizzle. Okay? You see how we're, <coughs> excuse me, see how we're getting some sizzling? That's what I'm looking for, okay? If you need to use two pans because you got a lot of wings, that's fine. Okay, but you can literally see the seasoning down in that wing, right? That soy sauce, oh my goodness, listen here. Talk about some great flavor. Ooh-wee! Gina Young ain't gonna, I'm not gonna let you down. I'm gonna always promise to give you a great recipe that you're gonna wanna make for your family and friends. Trust me when I tell you this. I got you. On Wednesdays and Saturdays, I got you. And I'm going to eventually incorporate Mondays. I just don't know when. <laughs> oh, yes, Drew, I agree. I love the flats. So you see, come look in. I don't want you all to overcrowd the pan, okay? But make sure you get some in there, okay? If you overcrowd it too much, the wings will sting. I feel like that's enough right there for that pan. Don't turn it up on high. If y'all will come and follow me to my larger stove behind me, we'll get these other wings going just like so. Oh yeah, Derek e says he uses his air fryer for the wings. There's so many people that does. Lots of people love the air fryer. I'm, I, I don't use the air fryer, but, you know, I think it's a great thing because people love it. Okay. This one's sizzling a little bit more, so I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay. We're just going to let these babies cook up, okay. Keep an eye on them because they may brown quickly, quickly. But they may not. And if at any time you feel like the burner is too high, just turn it down. It's that simple, okay? All right, meet me back over at the island, y'all. You're going to have, I have the soy sauce left over on my pan. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, I'm going to wash this. The mic not on, y'all? Are you happy? We hear her, but it's not the mic. Are you guys having issues with hearing me? Can you not hear me? Loud and clear, okay. Thank you, thank you, my holy king. And uh, thank you, Pamela, thank you. Okay, so now I want you all to wash your hands really good since we just touched the chicken. That way we can keep our family and friends and loved ones nice and safe from bacteria. If you're that person that wants to um, uh, cover up the pan, absolutely you can, okay? If you want to leave it uncovered, you can leave it uncovered. Okay? Just don't turn it up on hot. Okay? Hear you and see you loud and clear, says Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. I love you. All right, Derek. <laughs> oh, Ty, it's on your side. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ty. I think you did something. So guess what? How simple was this? I mean, of course we're not done. No, no we ain't done. But we're just going to sit and let the wings kind of simmer in that oil. Take their time. Don't rush them. Take their time to get nice, beautiful, and great.
golden brown, okay? And once we see that, we'll flip them. And we'll give the other side some time to get golden brown, okay? And then, like I said, I'm going to be telling you the perfect time to mix in the Parmesan cheese. And it's a nice amount. You can decide how much Parmesan you want to use. A lot or a little bit. But I'll show you, you know, like how much I want to use, okay? Simple, like one and one equals two. Absolutely. Or does one and one equal 11? <laughs> that's what Kevin Hart said when he was little. <laughs> I think that's so funny. He said that his mom was asking him, what's one and one? And he was like, 11. <laughs> it's 11. Mom, it's 11. <laughs> and I think that's so funny. <laughs> no issues. Thank you, Sonia. That is funny, right? You know, and, and for a little kid to say that, that's actually smart. But you didn't get the right answer, you know? <laughs> Kool-Aid. Deanna, did you have another question? 
just to see the color that I've achieved. I'm starting to achieve a great color. Look at that. Oh, yes. And you're going to be able to receive that color by using the soy sauce. Let's go ahead and turn them over. And some of them may not be that dark color, but no worries. Guess what? Because we're going to flip them back over until we achieve that color on all sides of the wing, okay? So you're going to have some that's nice and dark. You're going to have some that's not. Don't worry about the ones that's not, because we'll come back and flip them back over, okay? Like my mouth is salivating already. <laughs> How about it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, turn my other wings over and I'll be right back and I'm gonna look at some messages, okay? Rosie, I'm not cooking, but I can't wait to try it. Someone said because it's going to be in the sauce cooking, do you have to cook it all the way? Somebody said what? It doesn't have to be cooked all the way because it's going to be in the sauce cooking. No, it cannot be in the sauce cooking. I'm going to tell you what to do if your wings don't get done. Okay? Because what I'm going to have you do is I'll, if your wings are not done in the inside, and I'll have you cut one open and check the temperature and everything. If your wings are not done, I'm going to have you put foil on them. Okay? And then that will assure you that they're going to get done, okay? And then we'll also can use a thermometer. The thermometer will read 165 degrees. And that way you'll, you'll know when they're done. But you cannot put these wings into that little bit of sauce and, and to get your wings cooked, okay? We're going to cook them fully before they go into that sauce, okay? And then you'll have extra sauce left over. And if you have, um, like you and your family, you want extra sauce, just put extra sauce in a little bowl on the side of your plate. Okay? Oh, the doggies, they're fine. Where are they at? They're fine. They're sleeping right now. They're good boys. They're sleeping.
God is good. Absolutely, little bit. Thank you. God is absolutely amazing. Now, I, I just want to say this. If you feel the need to pour some more oil off of your wings, go ahead and do it. Okay? All right? Because you may have seen me just a few minutes ago pour some oil off of my wings. Okay? How do you do that? Well, I just take the pan and I pour some oil off. Okay? J-Team-09. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, J-Team-09. 
09, thank you for coming in. Oh, Oteca, you make upside down cake? Uh-huh. Delicious. I love you too, Jennifer. Thank you for coming in and joining. Gina, you be throwing down in that kitchen. You bet I do. I love it. Thank you so much. This recipe 
I'm going to go ahead and cut some of my celery. I just want to cut it down just a little bit. So I'm going to do this. All right. And I'm going to cut some celery sticks. It's funny because we never really eat celery here at the Young's house. But when it's time to have wings, they always want celery. <laughs> Look at that. That's all we're going to do. Nothing too special. I, I was going to make tater tots, but I ain't going to do it because guess why? I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like it. I'm not even going to do it. Nice fresh celery. Got the carrots. I got my blue cheese for me. And uh, my husband and Dakota will have ranch dressing. So look at that. This is available to eat along with your wings. Quick and simple. All right, I'm going to put that in the refrigerator. Huh? Okay, check in on your wings, everybody. Don't rush them. If you 
you hit the bone, you're going to have a raw reading. 165 is what we were looking for. We have 180, 183, 184, and still going. Okay, so we know that those wings are done. But am I happy with the color? Well, I want them to get a little bit golden brown, a little bit more golden brown. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to keep cooking them until I get the color that I'm looking for. Okay? And honestly, it's that simple. Yes, they're done because we checked them. The, the uh, number went above 165. But I want my wings darker. So we're going to cook them until they get darker. Okay? That's the fun about cooking at home. You know, ever went somewhere? Uh, I feel like my husband always has to tell the people this. Like when we go out to a restaurant. He say, I want wings. You know, he'll order his wings. And he say, can you make them extra well done crispy? You should have to tell them that. They should already make them extra well done crispy for you. You know, but the good, but what's fun about when you make it at home, you make them how you like, you know? And, and so since I like my wings to be darker, I'm going to cook these babies until they get nice and dark. Crispy, no flabby skin here, right? We don't want no flabby skin, so keep cooking them, okay? Oh, yes. Now, we're moving in the right direction. Okay? Have patience. Check in on these things. <laughs> Girl, we something else in that kitchen. Okay, these ones got a minute to go. But we're doing just fine. All right, put that foil back on them. If you've got a whole lot of oil in your pan, drain it off.
dressing. Dina, I feel like eating the chicken wings. You just cook. And some turkey wings now. I'm very hungry. My goodness, if you were here, I would feed you. I would feed you. I gotta, I gotta taste that. I felt that to know it was good. I'm gonna wash my hands. Relax. Mmm. I'm gonna wash my hands. I know. I know. <laughs> We got to check in on the wings behind me. So can the camera come follow me? Oh, okay, Sonia, okay. Ooh-wee, that thing is looking good. So let me tell you, these wings right here are definitely done. We already checked the temperature on them, right? We know that they're done. And we cooked them a little bit darker. So now I want for the other wings to do the same thing. This big one right here, let's take it out and cut it and see what it's looking like in the inside. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get a knife. Cut that baby. Ooh wee. Uh huh. Look at that. Come, come on in, camera. Look at that. Prove to the people that your wings are done. Look at that white meat. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I'm going to taste this. All right. Yes, baby. All right. Keep on pressing. Keep on cooking. If your wings are not the color that you're looking for, well, keep cooking. Gorgeous. We got some good stuff going on here. I'm going to take my thermometer. Where's my thermometer if I were to look for you? Okay, I'm going to go into one of my big wings and I want to check the temperature, making sure that I don't touch the bone because if you touch the bone, you got a wrong reading. Now you can see that my temperature 192, 195, 197, 199, 202. Okay, done. But ask yourself this question. Are you happy with the color of the wing? If you're happy with the color of the wing, then you go ahead and grab your butter, like we're getting ready to do. And let's grab a platter to put our wings on, okay? Is there anybody that's cooking with me that um, is behind? Are you cooking with me and you're behind? Let me know, let me know. It's okay to be behind, okay? I want nobody freaking out. And worry that you're behind, because I promise you, it's okay. Is there anybody that's cooking with me and you're behind? All right. I'm going to grab, let me show you what I'm going to put my wings on. this cookie sheet okay beautiful gorgeous wings okay we need to grab the other ones just like so and then we're going to bring the butter into the equation and these wings did not have to be coated in in flour cornstarch or anything like that 
Come in over this way, cameraman. You're doing a good job, buddy. And I want you all to clean up as you go. Wipe down things that need to be wiped down. Look at this gorgeous color. Just because the thermometer says that the wings are done does not mean that you can't continue to cook them until you receive that perfect color that you're looking for. Yes, it's been a while. The, wing, the, the thermometer said they've been done. But I want them golden brown, so I cooked them until they were golden brown. Okay, that's the color. That's the crispiness that I'm looking for. And most of you all are looking for that same color, right? I, I know you are. All right. So now, let's take this time, wipe down some things. Okay, De Deanna, I hope you're doing okay. I haven't read any messages yet, but I hope you're doing well. And if you rewind of the live, yeah, I know you're going to come back to this part and see that I'm checking in on you. And I'm also checking in on him and everybody that cooked along with me. How are you doing out here? Clean it up as I go so I can be stress-free in my kitchen. Because when, when, when dinner is ready, ain't no way I want to have to come back and clean up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right, so now, let's grab our butter. Heat the butter back up. Okay, then Moultrie says, yep, I'm making it later. I'm gonna make me some later. <laughs> you better make me some, you're gonna enjoy it. Okay, so the butter's getting heated up, okay? And now I want you to bring in the uh, Parmesan. These are garlic Parmesan chicken wings, okay? And um, I also want, let me see if I got a big bowl. I got a big bowl. Because I want to be able to toss the wings, you can take the wings and put them in the sauce, flip them babies, like that, if you wanted to. Or you can take all your wings, put them in a big bowl, and just throw the sauce all over your wings. However you want to do it is fine, okay? We on point, Tina, says T. Smith. Okay, this is great. Parmesan cheese in. How much, Gina? Well, let me show you. Let me just show you. Because I never measure it. How about about that much? And if you are somebody that just totally loves Parmesan, then guess what you're going to do? You're going to put more in there. And guess what? It's totally okay. This sauce right here, can the camera look at me? This sauce right here is finger licking good. Like if you, if you, if you, you're going to be doing that with your finger, tasting it, because that's how good this is, okay? Gina Young has just changed her life right now. <laughs> now, for, uh, I think it was Ron Wilson, he wanted to know, can you put hot sauce in here? Um, I've never done it, but I would like to say, guess what? Go ahead. Go ahead and enjoy it, okay? So now, put my wings. Oh, come here, come here, come here for the people. For the people, the people, people, the people, people, the people everywhere. <laughs> oh, look at it. That right there, hold on, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. That right there is life. Mm, mm, mm. It tastes so good. Now, you do it that way if you want. Okay? I'm going to set it here. Put your wings. Do them however you want. Do a couple at a time. Do a lot at a time. Or throw them all in there, pour the sauce on and shake them. What, however you want to do it. Just do it. I think I'm going to do it this way. I can't.
can stop licking my fingers. This is so good. And I still have the sauce heating up. Can, can the people see? Oh my goodness. Oh way. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Somebody say yes, amen, Gina. You just changed my life. Somebody tell me that. Oh, listen here. Oh, wee. Uh huh. That's it. This is all you need. Mm. Uh huh. Listen, come on. Mm, mm, mm. I can't stop tasting the butter sauce. This right here is so much fun to make. I promise you. It's easy. And your whole family. Sonia, you got to let me know. Everybody to cook with me, you've got to let me know what you think about this recipe. I'm telling you, run, run next door and take a little bit to the neighbor. Run next door, take a little bit to the neighbor and let me know what they say. They're going to say, what the heck? Where you get this recipe? And you're going to tell them, I know, I already know what you're going to tell them. You're going to say, Gina Young, show me how. You are, you are, you are, I know you are, I trust you. <laughs> I trust you. All right, nice, beautiful, coated wings. Cleaning up as you go so you can be stress-free. Only got a few more wings to go in there. And guess what? Uh, hopefully, if you baked some french fries, they're done. <laughs> Get your celery and carrot sticks and that ranch dip out. This right here is going to give you a whole new life. The flavor is astonishing. It is. Mm, mm, mm. And then you're gonna, so you're gonna have sauce left over, right? When you have sauce left over, just put that extra sauce in a big bowl or, you know, a cup or whatever. And there might be some family members that just wanna pour more sauce onto their wings, and that's fine. But you get the gist of how to make it Jenny Young style, right? You get the gist. All right? So now here's my, hold on. my leftover sauce. Anybody want some of that? You got a lot left over. That's why I like to use that uh, uh, stick and a half because it leaves me with more. All right, look at this. Girl, you something else in this kitchen. You hear me? Well, I, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. All right, so now the good part is I wouldn't suggest that you eat them right now. Right now, them bad babies is hot. The, the sauce that's on them is steaming hot. The wings just came out the pan. You're gonna burn your mouth. So we don't want nobody to burn their mouth. So how about we wait a good seven minutes to eat them? Seven to 10 minutes, okay? But until then, guess what we can do? We can say a good prayer. And then if it's okay, Jeannie Young's gonna come around. We're gonna talk, we're gonna chit chat. Hopefully there were some people in the comment section that can uh, uh, write down some great topics that we can talk about this evening. That would be great. Uh, because we, have, we stay on here for a long, a long time. And I want the conversation to keep going. Okay, take my blue cheese, okay? And uh, I'm gonna have you bring my water. Bring my water out the bedroom. Don't drink my water because I don't want you to get my cough, okay? <laughs> oh, Sonia, I'm going to wait on you to eat. Okay, okay, Sonia, I love it. Thank you. All right, y'all, you guys are going to see me here in just one second. I'm taking a little drink here. Turn the stove off. 
Okay. We are moving in the right direction. Let's say a prayer. By the time I'm done praying, by the time I'm done praying, it'll be time to eat. Thank you today for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for just loving us. Thank you, Jesus, for protecting us and keeping us safe. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from us in Jesus Christ's name. Devil, you stand no chance. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities. You hold their heart in your hand and you turn it like a water course. Blessed be the name of the good Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the rope over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us every day. Amen. And I also like to thank each and every one of you all for being here with me today. If you cook with me, please let me know what you think of this recipe. Let me know if it was easy. Let me know if it was hard. Was it hard to follow along? Let me know what you think about the recipe and if you're enjoying yourself on this live. When I come around in front of the camera, let me know and I'll be able to read the messages and see what you all are thinking. Heavenly Father, I pray for each and every person in this live. I pray that you bless over their finances. I pray that you bless over their family and friends. I pray that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. You got, you got uh, fries in the oven? Okay. Hey, Amen. Thank you. All right. Remember, you got extra sauce. Use it. Use it as a dipper. I don't need the extra sauce. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't want too many. Don't get too crazy, Gina. All right. All right. Ah. Uh. All right, I do want to leave some for my family. All right, so I got blue cheese. I want carrots and celery. Couple carrots, celery. Did you get my water? Put my water over there. I'm going to show y'all what some good eating is, y'all. There's my plate. Y'all know I can't eat too much. I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching my I'm watching my waistline here. I'm I'm I'm, I'm trying to watch it a little bit. I mean, cause I can eat the whole bowl, <laughs> but I do want to save something for my family, so I'm gonna do just that. All right, I'm coming around. Think of some great topics that we can talk about. Let's have a good time here at the Young's house. Nice clean fun. Okay. Get your ranch, your blue cheese, blue cheese, what you love. Uh-oh, Christopher says, Gina, you got a whole line outside. Look at them, they hungry. <laughs> Look at them, they hungry. It's a whole line of people. It's funny. I could actually see that, Christopher. <laughs> I could see a whole line of people waiting out there. And the neighbors say, what the heck is going on out here? <laughs> All right, I'm coming. Okay, here I am. Gina Young to save the day. Let's go ahead, take the microphone off, and then y'all can hear me. Um, and let's chit chat, let's eat, let's have a good time. I'll be back, I'm gonna go eat, says Alan. <laughs> Alan, did you get hungry? <laughs> I'll be back. I gotta go eat. <laughs> 
All right, let me turn these microphones off. Okay. Bring the computer back over here and let's get that light out of my way. Gina, this recipe, let me see what this person says. Gene, oh, Shirley Clark. Gina, this recipe was very easy. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing this recipe. You're very welcome. Shirley Clark, thank you. Kurt says, let me have a plate, please. Thank you for the recipe, says Heidi. It's delicious. I'm enjoying my wings so much in ranch dressing. Heidi, that makes me so happy. I'm outside with the carry bag to load up. <laughs> Showing love from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And that's John. John Moore, welcome in. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> the Moultrie says, I'm in the line. I'm in the line you're talking about. I'm outside her house in the line waiting. Okay, Heidi, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay, so now if you messaged me uh, before I sat down and I missed your message, please message me again so I can read your message, okay? Because I'm pretty sure I... Gina, okay, okay, Gina, I got to email my wings to you. You better. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, that's exciting. Okay. Now, if you emailed the wings to me, is it okay for me to show your wings to the people? Mm, that was some blue cheese on my finger. <laughs> oh, oh, heck no, they were so good. All right. Thank you, Lord, once again. I want to show you all my plate. Look, at, look, 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 look. Oh, look at that. Oh, wee. Okay. Ooh, honey child. You're welcome, Heidi. I'm so glad you trusted me. I'm, 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 I'm so happy when y'all trust me with the recipe, and I promise you that it's going to be delicious. Listen here. Shirley Clark says it was easy. I got my to-go container, says Miss Karen. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dakota, please give me a fork. Oh, you got the recipe, but you're having fish tonight. Okay. Okay. Gina, I just changed my... Oh, hold on. Gina just changed my life. I'm new in the chat. Okay, Jennifer Goss. Jennifer Goss, welcome in. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for um, announcing that you're new so we can welcome you. Okay, I'm so happy. Dakota, give me a fork. Oh, about Mr. Young's finger. His finger is, is still hurting. He's got some pain, but when you can look at it and tell that it's healing. It, okay, let me see what Heidi says. Gina, I got to email you my wings. Okay, okay, okay. Email me the wings and after, okay, Sonia, can I show the wings? Is it okay for me to show the wings on here? His finger. Oh, thank you, Mildred. Thank you, says, uh, Mildred says, I know. I know they're good. Thank you, Rosie. Dakota, give me a fork, please. Email me the wings, <laughs> says Derek. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Sexual chocolate. How you doing in here? That's Latika. She changed her name. She changed her name. My goodness. I'm doing the robot. <laughs> I'm in line doing the robot. <laughs> Sonia says, yes, it's okay to show the picture. Okay. So, Sonia made wings. She made the garlic parmesan wings like we made today. Oh my goodness. Oh, they look just like my wings. These are my wings. <laughs> look at that. Look at this, guys. 
Look at her wings. Oh my goodness. Sonia, great job. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and she left the tips on there. Okay, that's great. Be what a beautiful picture. Oh, let's eat. Somebody out there wants to taste this. I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a bite. I'll take that one, Gina. <laughs> Renee says, I'll take that one right there. Okay, so now look at this. Mm. You bet it is, Miss Karen. You bet it is, Miss Karen. This is a real wing. And like I said, when you are cooking wings, you make sure you can cook them as dark as you want. Okay? You seen when they were done. When they reached 165 degrees Fahrenheit, well, I was still unhappy with the color. So I let them cook until I achieved that color. Look at in the inside. Look how pretty. And you can tell that they're juicy. Now the flavor... <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Listen, you'll never know until you try them. Oh, Donna, <laughs> Donna, <laughs> Donald, I'm so sorry. Gina, you forget I get the first bite. There you go, Donald. There you go, a whole brand new wing. Look at that, Donald. Look at that right there. There you go, Donald. <laughs> I forgot, I did tell you that. <laughs> That's funny you bring that up. <laughs> Alyssa says, I never thought to use soy sauce. Let me tell you where I get using soy sauce. Using soy sauce comes from an Asian wing that I tried. I don't remember if it was my Coca-Cola wings. It was an Asian wing that I tried. And with that Asian ring, you have to marinate it in soy sauce. And soy sauce replaces the salt. And it sure does replace the salt. You don't miss the salt for one second. Look at, look at that. Now, if I was not on this live, Gina, it's a good thing I don't live next door. <laughs> I'd be right over with my plate, says Mildred. <laughs> I'd be right over there. <laughs> now, if I was not on this live, this chicken wing, would be sucked until there is absolutely no meat on there. Low sodium soy sauce is absolutely amazing, Drew. So that, that, that's actually a great point that you make. But I tell you what, I suck all this meat off of here, but I'm live and I ain't about to do all that. Okay, Devetta. Devetta, welcome in. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> Ron said, shoot, once she opened the door, I just move in. <laughs> Devetta, everybody, welcome, Devetta. Thank you for coming in and joining us. I'm so pleased to have you here in here with us. Uh-uh, Saj. Ah, uh -uh, you ain't getting me. Mm -mm. I ain't doing it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sonia says that's what I used. I used a low sodium. Absolutely you can. Mm. I tell you what. I love me some blue cheese. So much flavor in this recipe. Now, 
if you want to back up a little bit the next time you make them and uh, use uh, a little bit less chicken powder, absolutely you can. Oh, it is so good. Okay, Gina, I'm at your door. <laughs> it's so funny because every time y'all say that, I look at my door. <laughs> y'all better not be out there. <laughs> I wonder what my neighbors would do. Like, what the heck is going on out there? <laughs> I may have had sticky, like, I, okay, Renee says they taste awesome. Gina eating all the meat on my bones. I understand. <laughs> yes. I know, Saj. I know we are. <laughs> this is so enjoyable. Look at that wing. Look how pretty it is. And it's nice and crispy. It's nice and flavorful. Look at this. Somebody just look at this wing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> we'll be out there in the Soul Train line. <laughs> be so embarrassed especially I would be so embarrassed I'll be like I don't know him I would say no I don't know him <laughs> I love your accent thank you and that's cooking with D thank you you love the accent my goodness thank you let's see Like if you kick something that was on the floor or you accidentally make a sound like that, they'll go nuts. And if they don't know what it was or whatever, or you drop something. But I think, excuse me, I think they had to use the restroom. He's watching them. They're both using the restroom. So they had to go. But then also they know, uh, Gina got bars. <laughs> but then also um, they know when somebody's pulling up somebody you know is at the front door they know when anybody's around the house they want chicken too i know i know they do mm -hmm. mm -hmm. look <laughs> i don't know how i got two of them they heard the crowd of people dakota where they at huh He just went outside with them. Okay. So Ty says, anyone having a surgery, <clears throat> you have to eat differently. Or can they eat the same? <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> Hold on. Now, are you talking about, um, <clears throat> oh, my eyes are watering. Are you talking about the surgery that I had? 
You can eat the same. <clears throat> Y'all know I had my surgery November 16th. So, <clears throat> my appetite is back. But I still want to keep, you know, I want to keep a nice figure. I don't want to overeat. Never. So, I just like to watch what I'm eating. And like I said, because I could totally take down that whole batch of chicken wings. But is it really smart to... You know, when we're working out, we're eating healthy, trying to do everything you can <clears throat> to stay nice and fit. Is it feasible that I take down eight of these wings right now? Not really. So how about eat three of them and have some celery and carrots and still enjoy it? And then later, I can go back and slam on some more, you know? <clears throat> so it's about making good decisions when it's time to eat. Some people be like, Jenny, you ain't eat that. How come you ain't eating a whole lot? Because I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> yep. Uh-oh, Wanda says, I just blew my diet, but these wings are delicious. We love them. We love them. And I knew y'all would love them too. That's why I just totally had to make them. You're welcome, Valencia. Okay, I wanted to know. Oh yeah, that's fine. No problem, Sa Ta I mean, Ty. I mixed Ty and Saja's name up. I don't know why I keep doing that. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna make a side of macaroni and cheese, garlic bread. I got so full on the wings now, I don't feel like it. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -mm. Don't be nervous. Being afraid to do something that you want to do is not good. You just got to know the person that wants the mommy makeover. You just have to know that God got you. God is going to take care of you. And it's up to you to do everything that you're supposed to do before the surgery. Um, do everything that they want you to do after the surgery. Have faith that God is going to take care of you. And you can do it and you'll be... I'm not telling anybody to do this, but what I'm saying is if you want to do it, you'll be so happy that you did it. Alyssa, yeah, I'm, I'm digging the yellow. I'm digging the yellow today. And I got, uh, I just got some blue jeans on today. Let me talk about what games we enjoyed when we were growing up. Okay, okay, let's talk about it. Mm. Y'all listen. These wings were so good. Mm. These wings were good. Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. You know, Derek, I, I like blue. Connect for and hide and seek. Uh-huh. Nicola, come here. Oh, hold on, guys. Mm, mm, mm. I'm really enjoying this. Now, <clears throat> turn the fan off. Okay. Go ahead and get the babies a little tiny plate and make them something very nice. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh my goodness, kickball. Connect what I got ice water right beside me. Dodgeball. Oh my goodness. How many of y'all batting ball and jacks? Yes. Mousetrap. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Football and basketball, handball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes. 
How about it, Twister? My goodness. Twister is something I never played. I don't believe it's something that I ever played. Freeze tag, I know. Surely the wings were so good. Uno, Dakota loves Uno to today. Make sure they get some cheese. You know they want cheese and they want tomatoes. Okay. <clears throat> oh, French jump rope, that is nuts. I remember that. So, hold on. The red light, green light, yes. So listen, when it came to um, the French jump rope, was it where you would take the two? Uh, it, oh, hold on, let me, let me think of this. I gotta think of this. Uh, was it where you take the two ropes, right? And you would jump in, jump out, jump on the two ropes, jump in, jump out, jump on. Jump, no, here's how it goes. Jump in, jump out, jump side by side, jump in, jump out, and jump on. And you have to do your feet this way to jump on the rope. Is that what that was? We, pay, we played steal the bacon. Hold on, what is steal the bacon? Double Dutch, oh my. Listen, I was good at Double Dutch. I was good at Double Dutch. T. Smith, you said T. Smith, it was so fun. I, my sister taught me to play Double Dutch and I was good. No, I'm not talking about Double Dutch. I'm talking about French junk rope. Mother, may I? Oh my goodness. Tetherball. My dad bought me a tetherball. I connected it to the porch in the backyard. And I was good. I was good at tetherball. And then when I went to school, they wondered how I was so good. Well, it's because I was in the backyard and I was practicing. <laughs> Hopscotch, yes. Oh, mother, Mildred says, Mother, may I? That was so much fun. Simon said, that's a good one, Cynthia. Hungry hippos, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Chinese jump rope is our side to side in and out. Okay, Heidi, that's right. Cause like I said, we would jump in, jump out, jump side by side, in, jump out, jump on. <laughs> Old May, that's a good one. Tops, uh-huh. Don't spill the beans. Candyland tops them all, right? Ron said the most simple, most funnest one, right? Guess what it was? Chase. Chase, where you just chased me. You chased me and I tagged you. That was the game, Dakota. Yes, it was. Yeah. Dakota said, I've never heard of that. No, oh. it was. Oh, oh, hold on. Are you saying check? Red light, green light. One, two. You said one, two, three, red light. Tag. <laughs> uh oh. Purple Love said I was a double Dutch queen. I was a double Dutch queen. I was good too. Listen, let me get up. Let me get up and show y'all how I. How I went into the uh, jump rope in the basement. I go get it. said, we got a jump rope in the basement. I'm going to go get it. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> Atari, yes. You had an Atari? Yeah, I had an Atari. So listen, my sister told me, be, be watching them two ropes. Hold on. My sister told me, be watching them two ropes. And when that rope that was near me, I was like this. That rope that was near me, when it, when it went down, I jumped in. Listen, I would be jumping, and then I could spin around in a double dutch rope. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun. And my sister taught me how, I'd like to say my sister taught me how to skate. She taught me how to skate on the roller skates that were plastic and they attached to your shoes. Do y'all remember those? She taught me how to how to skate on those in the driveway. And she taught me double dutch. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Hot cold butter 
means come and get your supper. Yes. Yeah, that's what we played. I thought that was, I thought we was the only ones that knew about that. Metal skates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they attach to my shoes. <laughs> Pick up 57, roller skates and hook each other. Oh, Jax, Jax is a good one. I, yo, I can't get this tripod fixed, hold on. Let me try to fix it. The tripod is gonna go nuts real quick, but I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to fix it because it keeps sliding on the, on the counter. So hold on, don't think nothing's wrong with your camera or your phone. Baby, I got some beautiful wings here. No. Okay, let me see. Hula hoop. Hula hoop was definitely one, and I was good at it. Listen, I was so good at hula hoop. Hi, honey. Mm. Mm, love you, baby. Oh, you smell good, too. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you smell good. Um, I was good at hula hoop. And then I would do the hula hoop on my neck and my arms. But then I knew I was really good when I could put it on one foot. And I got the hula hoop doing this on one foot, right? And then the other foot would jump when the hula hoop would come around. So my feet would be doing this. I got one hula hoop going, and I would jump the hula hoop with the other foot. That's what I really like to do. I like to show off when I did that. <laughs> you like to jump double dutch? Yeah. <laughs> They're saying hello, honey. Everybody say hi. He said hello say to hello everybody. You too. He said hello, everybody. Hide and seek. Yes, just simple hide and seek. Rubik's Cube. How about that? That's a good one. Flying kites. My dad would take me every fall. Every fall, we, we, we flew kites. Every fall, we flew kites. And then every 4th of July, he would also take us to... Uh, what is it called? To watch the fireworks. Oh. Uh-huh. Break dancing. <laughs> yeah, but I did break dance, though. <laughs> I had the gazelle glasses. They had the lines going through them. <laughs> Monopoly, Frisbee. Frisbee's a good one. Play-Doh. I, Play I had fun with Play-Doh. Okay, let me see. Gina, my doctor yelled at me yesterday. I have to lose Come weight on. before I go back because I don't right, want to have surgeries to lose weight. Right, oh, eat. okay, I understand. They just use the bathroom. No, they don't want to eat. They, they don't want to eat because they want to follow you. You stay in here. Once you eat first. You, you don't want to eat. Now he's looking at me like I'm a... You got... <laughs> <laughs> Like the dogs don't want to eat their food. Because <laughs> my husband walked in. He's like, I can't believe. They would rather not eat their food and go with him. <laughs> They're like, I'll eat later. I'm going with my dad. <laughs> oh, Frisbee. Frisbee was so much fun. Yes, it was. Yahtzee. Yahtzee and Scrap. Scrap. I really enjoyed Scrabble. Uh-oh, Patricia says a really good one that I just totally love. Cabbage Patch Dolls. <laughs> I had so much fun with Cabbage Patch Dolls. What was the name of the lemon you had to jump over? I have no clue. Yeah, Ty. Hmm. Marbles, uh-huh. Oh, the fish are doing well. Tick. Jax. The fish are doing good. I'll show you the fish if I can remember. You'll see them. They're over there swimming. I don't know if you can see them a little bit. The slinky annoyed you. Bingo. Bingo's a good one. Goat cart. Perfection. Perfection was good. So now let's talk about this. Okay. So my brothers, when the, uh, 
backgammon, that's a good one, operation, when the uh, skateboards came out, my brothers had a bright idea that they was going to put a string onto the skateboard. I don't know how they did it or some type of rope. They tied it onto the back of their seat of their bike. They put me in They put me in a box. Okay, how'd you get those? What happened? Um, they put me in a box on top of the skateboard and they told me when they got ready to turn, they just want me to lean the way they're going to turn. So I'm inside of this box on top of the skateboard that they tied to the seat of the bike. And when it was time to turn, they just want me to lean a little bit in the box. And <laughs> we will go down the street and I'm in the box sitting in a box and they're pulling me and at every turn that we made i would fall off <laughs> every turn that we made i would always lean when they turn but i'd always fall off <laughs> it was fun though <laughs> i always fell off that's the part that wasn't fun <laughs> I always fell off. I didn't like that part. You had dolls that you would style their hair. Okay. It was scary, but it was fun. <laughs> And then the one person in here said, hide and go butter beans, come and get your supper. Now, that, it was so much fun, but it wasn't fun. So what we did, and it would be me, my sister, my brothers, and most likely my cousins that lived around the corner. And we had a huge front yard and a huge backyard, and we played in it. You hear me? We had a long driveway. Um, so there would be a belt. I'm not suggesting that anybody or anybody watching play this. This is just what we did. We had a belt. <laughs> Somebody would have a belt. And you would say hi. You would be like up against a tree and you have your eyes closed and you count, you know, from 10 down to 1. And everybody go high, go scatter and hide. But the person that, when they come off the tree after counting, they have that belt. When they find you, if you don't make it back to home, they get to hit you with the belt all the way back to home. My brothers would tear my legs up. And it was not, it was fun, because that taught you how to run fast. <laughs> taught you how I run. I was booking to that tree to make it to base. And they would, they would mess my legs up all the way to that tree. <laughs> I'd be like, pew, 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 uh-uh, you ain't getting me. <laughs> I'd be like, uh-uh. So that's what our hide and go butter beans come and get your supper was. It was totally nuts. Okay, you grew up in South Philly. That's where my dad grew up at. So maybe, I don't know if my dad taught that to us, but that's where my dad grew up, South Philly. That's where my dad grew up. Uh-huh. You said, oh my goodness, Nicole. <laughs> but I tell you what, like I said, uh, it was a lot of us who, and, we, and we played. <laughs> oh, you always wanted the Heelys and your parents said no. Okay. Dakota has them. He has all kinds, but he didn't. He doesn't want to use them. Oh, Dakota, come here. Dakota has little skateboards that are this big that you can that you can stand on, and you can go sailing around the street or the sidewalk. Go turn the heat back on. I tried it. And uh, they're little tiny skateboards, only this big. 
but it's a skateboard for each foot. And I don't know how they do it. Oh, you remember that, Sonia. Okay. Uh, oh, Lisa. Lisa just said the best one. On. The air was on. <clears throat> Lisa just said, is it a hoverboard? No, he got two hoverboards. They play music. I'm talking about uh, I'm talking about a skateboard. Huh? The heat, what's it on? <coughs> Excuse me guys when I cough, please forgive me. I got a cough I can't get rid of. Hold on. <coughs> no. 77. 76. Lisa, I think it was Lisa said I had a big wheel. Oh my goodness, who had a who had a big wheel? Here, plug this up. You had to plug this up. You're cut off. Says Derek. Am I back in? Who had a big wheel? Oh, I had one. My holy king. Oh, my goodness. My holy king said I used to kill bucks for fun. <laughs> Oh, I'll clean this up. Uh, oh, bring me your little uh, skateboards for your feet. A big wheel. I know I had a big wheel. <clears throat> oh, you didn't have a big wheel, but your brothers did. Okay. Deanna says we couldn't afford a big wheel. Oh my goodness. Yep, I totally understand that, Deanna. I really do. I had the red wagon. <laughs> Dakota, what did you just do? Did you break something? You just fell. No, you just failed. No, I dropped it. You just failed. Did you put a hole in the wall? No. It sounds like you did. I'm going to go check his room. Here's the skateboard. This is just for one foot. Check me out. This, it ain't got no straps on it, y'all. Look at this. This is some new age stuff, right? So look. Okay, look at this. This is just for one foot. Put one foot on that baby and then you go. You can't put your foot this way. You gotta put your foot the way the wheels are aligned. And then you just go. Isn't that something? And so you have a second one for the other foot. <laughs> I would break my teeth trying to balance on that. <laughs> Dakota just did something. Dakota, I swear, if you just put a hole in that wall, I'm gonna hurt you. What did you just do? What was it? Um, <laughs> what was it? Was did you put a hole no, in the no wall? Hole. Is there a hole in my floor? <laughs> no, I'm not funny. Is there a hole anywhere in your room? <laughs> Heck no. Ain't no. <laughs> you see what happened to the straps? There's no straps. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you look up the video, you should see these boys on the video. They be riding these things all through the hills, all through the streets and the sidewalks. I don't know how they do it. But, but I decided to purchase them for him. And he don't ride them. He don't, he don't ride them. Look at them. You just put your foot on both and go. And they are fast. <laughs> There's a hole. Oh, Lord, Sue. Sue, don't tell me that. I, if, if it is, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him, y'all. T. Smith said I had a big wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Wanda said I'm a scary cat. <laughs> I tell you what, if there is one thing, I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of, I'm not afraid of heights and, and to try different things and stuff. But I tell you one thing, that uh, the sit and spin, yes, that's a good one. One thing that I'm definitely afraid of 
<laughs> is the skateboard and the hoverboard. <laughs> I'm scared of both of them. Because, I mean, and I'm agile. I'm good on my feet. I'm athletic and all that good stuff. But when it comes to the hoverboard and the skateboard, I don't know how to stay on. I don't know how to, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> no thanks. I ain't, I ain't gonna get it. Uh, if it's a hole, but what if, Sonia, but what if it's a hole in the wall? <laughs> it sounds it sound like he went through the basement. It sounds it sound like he was just trying to roll on it in here. And I just heard a big, a big boom. The Ferris wheel, the Ferris wheel, wow. <clears throat> Lady Magnolia, they are fine. They're doing fine. Thank you for asking. Mildred's laughing. wildlife animal okay 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 so um okay let's think about it the favorite wildlife animal i don't know if i have one uh <laughs> i don't know if i have one I think that flamingos are gorgeous. I think they're so cute because they stand on one foot. I love their color. <laughs> I don't know. I just had, I, I would just have to make something up because I don't know what wildlife animal. I like um, elephants. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, dog man, dog man, how you doing? Dog man says, the elephant. And they are. They are very pretty. <laughs> Look like a donut. No, it's a, um, it's a, um, onion ring. <laughs> Ty says the roach is underrated. <laughs> Chinese checkers. I never played Chinese checkers. Yogi, hey, boo-boo. What did he say? He want a piggy in the black and piggy in the basket? Mmm. Heidi says dolphin is a mammal. Yeah. Dolphin is a good one. Now, y'all know how much I love water. I love water. I love going to places like the sea world and stuff like that seeing the dolphins and the sharks and all that stuff now some people say get on the dolphin swim on the dolphin it'll be so much fun i don't know how much i don't know how much fun that would be i feel like i would be scared yeah the whales and stuff i feel like they would like bite me <laughs> I mean I don't know here's the thing you see people in their swimsuits they get on the dolphin and they tell you to uh, just stand like hold on let me see they tell you to just stand like this in the water right or hold your hands out or whatever and the dolphin will come and grab you. I don't know if they grab you under your legs. I don't know where they grab. I would freak out. They say they're going to grab you and you just hold on to his nose or his mouth or what. I don't know what you hold on to. You might hold on to the fin. And then they just push you through the water. I would be afraid. I would be so afraid. What if they like bit you? <laughs> oh, that would freak me out. Or what if you feel like their face? go between your legs and it just totally freaks you out i i i i don't know what i would do i think it would be a great experience but i think more than anything i'd be too afraid i think i'd be too afraid <laughs> um I, I think i would back out of that i remember when i was in the fifth grade my dad paid extra money 
so I could ride the horse at um, a campground that I went to. We went to a campground called Camp Mary Orton. I was in the fifth grade. And I was supposed to ride the horses, but I was so scared. So my dad paid that extra money and I didn't ride the horses. I'm afraid because I've seen in the past, people get on horses and the horses go, Whoo! and they take off and you're on it. <laughs> so, so that's what makes me scared. I don't know if I wanna get on a horse. And then they tell you, no, get on the horse. And when you get on, <laughs> when you get on, as long as you do this, the horse will be comfortable and the horse is happy. But I don't know how, how long can I do that? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make my horse happy because I might just be sitting there. <laughs> my horse will say, get off of me. <laughs> yeah, nope, that scares me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> my God, Gina. <laughs> Serious. You would. Oh my goodness, Sonia. Sonia says, I'll ride on a dolphin. Would you? Here's the thing, you wouldn't be scared. <laughs> Gina, that is funny. No, but I'm serious. Okay, okay. Get Miss Gina. A <laughs> Get Miss Gina a my little pony. <laughs> yeah, how about that? How about uh, y'all? I remember. My mom taking me to a, a store called Gold Circles, and it was in Columbus, Ohio, when I, where I grew up at. And um, she bought me a My Little Pony, and it had rainbow hair, and I just loved to smell it. I don't know why I like to smell the My Little Pony, but I would just comb the hair, and it was purple, and I was just so proud of that My Little Pony. <laughs> but that's a memory of mine. I don't know why I have that memory. <laughs> I remember the peak one, yeah. <laughs> hey, who, who's saying this? Robert has a great one. Robert, you really brought back a childhood memory that I totally love. Bright light. I loved bright light. Bright light was so much fun because I can say, I guess I consider myself to be a little, a little artistic. Where I like to write, I like to paint, I like to draw. And I really like to do the bright light because when you're done, you get to see what you've made. And it lights up. That was so much fun for me. Okay, so Derek says the dolphins are intelligent. But, okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so the bad gal says, I cut the hair off my My Little Pony. So it just end up being a horse. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Lisa says we had a, a what? Oh, man. Y'all make me laugh. Oh, so here's the thing. I think that I've seen so many stories. I've seen good stories about dolphins. I have. But then I seen that the dolphin was trying to mate with the person. And I think that's what scares me. That scares me. How does a dolphin... What is the dolphin thinking? I said, no. Uh-uh. I'm not uh-uh. Mm-mm. Talk about I'll be trying to get out of that pool. Uh-uh. They'll see me. <laughs> They'll see me swimming out that pool. They say, man, what that lady going? Uh-uh. It's thinking of a mermaid. I bet it is. Uh-uh. No thanks. I seen that, Saj, on some show that I watched, and that scares me. <laughs> I, so Devetta says, I just heard that yesterday. I'm sure you did. That's what scares me. Uh-uh. You ain't turning on me. <laughs> Dolphin crossover. <laughs> <laughs> it is scary, Alana. People say them things are so cute and they're so smart and all that. But what about the bad stuff that I've heard and I can't, I can't get it out of my head? <laughs> no, uh -uh. I can't with the scary stuff. 
Because once I hear something scary, I'm done. I'm done no matter how cute you are. Because they are cute. They're beautiful and they are intelligent. They're so intelligent, they can be a little too intelligent. Nah. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I know my brother. <laughs> chia pet. I actually, did I have a chia pet? I may have had, ooh, he said snakes. Mm. <laughs> Oteka said, I can't stop laughing either. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I know, son, you forget that. <laughs> I think they just grabbed the person and tried to take them under the water. I don't know what they did. <laughs> they didn't show you, but they sure tell you. And I thought, oh, heck no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I do, Katie. Remember the Cabbage Patch dolls. Turn the thing on. They like to see the waterfall. Oh, of a bunny eating strawberries. That'd be cute to see. <laughs> That's crazy, yo. Sandra, are you from um, New York? Because by saying yo at the end, sounds like you're from New York. <laughs> Ty says, Gina, your laugh is totally contagious. I get tickled on here sometimes talking to y'all. <laughs> right, it's not funny if you, if you grew the strawberries and a bunny rabbit is eating your strawberries, right? It ain't funny then because you took all the time to plant the strawberries and then you see them in there, you be ready to, uh-uh. What, what, what'd you say? I said I'm about to eat this thing about Okay, well, turn it around. Turn it around. This way. All the way. And, <laughs> no thanks, I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not saying to do that to the rabbit, but maybe you can... Uh, put something down where the rabbit won't want to come around, Ron. <laughs> Give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up if you have not done so. Back out to give a thumbs up. I hope y'all are having a great Saturday today here at the Young's house. I hope y'all are having a good time here because I'm sure having a good time with each and every one of you. You're from St. Louis, okay. I do too, Lisa. I think bunny rabbits are so cute. Okay, only thing I miss about Columbus is the shopping. Is that right? Yes, me and my husband miss it. Oh my goodness, we don't wanna go back there. But we do miss some things about Columbus, Ohio. You know, we do. <laughs> Ron says, He's from Mars. <laughs> yes, pray. Wait says, I'm enjoying the chat. Oh, I'm so glad you are. Welcome in. Thank you for watching. <laughs> You do, Oteka. You love dogs. Okay, I'll make sure. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> Derek Geeds, y'all are a mess in here. Oh, you did, Lisa. You went to school in Columbus. Okay. Okay, how nice. What did I hate about it? Um, nothing that I hated about it. Nothing that I hated about it. We just wanted to move far away from Columbus. Um, it's nothing that I hated about it. So um, we wanted something different. Now, one thing I can say about where we live now, I feel like customer service out here is, is the worst. It's no good. The customer service out here where we live is no good. And so we've noticed that 
And um, so, you know, get what you get. <laughs> Customer service is the worst out here where we're at now. And when we was in Columbus, Ohio, ain't no way you get, you get the best customer service, right? So, um, I don't know. We can't find good pizza out here. We can't find good Chinese out here. Versus in Columbus, Ohio, you could find good Chinese. You could find good pizza. But not so much out here. So, but you also have to weigh your pros and your cons and things like that so and there's a lot of pros but then there's a lot of cons too so we just have to weigh it out you know one day we might sell this house you know you never know you never know you know we could and move somewhere completely different you know We will, a little bit. We will celebrate the one million, and we cannot wait. We're, we're all excited for this. I know y'all said y'all wanted to see my dad, and I know you also said that y'all wanted to see me skate on this living room floor. I'd have, so I'd have to pick up that, um, uh, that rug and move the table, and then I could have the whole, I could have that whole floor to skate on. It's a lot of floor that I could skate on. But I tell you what, I ain't been on skates in years, y'all. I used to be able to book it, book it, book it, book it, book it on skates. I don't know if I could even do that now. So how am I promising y'all that I'm going to get on some skates on, on this floor? I don't know if I can book it anymore on skates. I don't know if I can. As last time I got on some skates, I was in like my, maybe my mid thirties, maybe, maybe, I don't, I don't know. It could have been early thirties, but my ankles was hurting. I got water blisters on the bottom of my feet. I was just like, oh Lord, this is the worst. But when I was a kid, I was good. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do miss karen but i tell you oh you said gina practice okay okay i i knew somebody was gonna do that gina well if you ain't been on skates for a while practice oh my goodness <clears throat> so most of the time thank you k coffee oh he said she gonna sing too no heck no i ain't um oh i forgot what i was gonna say ron let's see um the heck i forgot what i was gonna say maybe it'll come back will it come back oh i know what i was gonna say so when i would go skating as a teenager my dad would drop us off me and a girl that i used to go with um and then he'd say at this time that's the time i'll be picking y'all up you be out there and be ready <laughs> right so that's what happened when it was time for my dad to pick us up, we'd be out there, we'd be ready. And he'd be out there. Um, because at a certain time, he'd have to get ready for work and go to work. He worked a night shift. And so um, he'd pick us up. But we skated a lot. I learned how to skate backwards. But most of all, I was... They had like um, a dance floor in the middle. And then there were like, um, like a... Uh, in the middle of the skating rink, there was a play. There was like a stage that you could dance on. There was a middle part that you could dance on, or skate in the inside, and like little seats that you could sit on that went around this way. I'll be on the stage. Only a couple people could fit on the stage, and I'll be on the stage dancing. Yes, I'll be on the stage dancing. It'd be, it would be so funny if they had a video <laughs> of me <laughs> dancing when I was a teen. It was like I was a preteen. When I was a preteen at that skating rink, I was, I was dancing all the new dances. That's what I was doing. And then half the time that I was there, I was skating. We had the time of our life. You do. Latika, Latika says, I love to skate. A 
staying alive. Yes, staying alive. <laughs> thank you, Ron. Ron is really hyping it up. I, I sure thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You miss skating. I, and like I said, um, y'all y'all know I'm in my, I don't know if you know, but I'm in my mid-40s, <laughs> over my mid-40s. But I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get me some skates. I'm going to order me some skates on Amazon. That's where I need to get started. Okay, let's just get started that way. Let's get the skates ordered, and then I'm going to let y'all know <laughs> how that part's going. we got to get the skates in the house, <laughs> and then I'm going to have to get on them. I'm going to have to get on them. My husband's so funny. My husband has, like, a whole lot of rhythm. But I tell you, he's got a whole lot of rhythm. He has a lot of rhythm. Like, he can, he can really dance, right? But he tells me, <laughs> he said, he told me a story about when he was younger. He said he got on the skates, and then he held, he, he held on to the wall. <laughs> he, he, said, he said, I got on there, and I held on to the wall. <laughs> he said, That's, I didn't go nowhere. <laughs> he said, now. I can act like I'm skating. He said, I can do it like this. But once I put them skates on, he said, my legs wanted to go whoop. <laughs> and I said, I told him, I said, I got to see you one day on skates. He said, no, you don't want to because I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he said, his legs just want to go whoop. He said, my, like, we're not supposed to, we're not meant to be on wheels. <laughs> And I just laugh at him. It's so funny because, like, if he walks in here right now, he could say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He could do like that, right, act like he's skating. He said, but if I put him on, it's a whole different story. <laughs> I laugh because I would love to just see him one day just standing on. He said, no, you wouldn't because I, I couldn't go nowhere. <laughs> I'd just be holding on to the wall. <laughs> Okay, okay, Sonia says, I'm going to remind you to get them. Sonia, please remind me. Please remind me. You have to. Because I'm, I'm always so busy, and I don't want to forget to get them. Because, first of all, I need to figure out the right size. Okay, so Mary Jane says, I can't skate. I'm never going to try. <laughs> she said, I can't skate, and I'm never going to try. <laughs> He got good joints. He got good joints, right? He he does. Got good feet, good legs, and all that. But he he got good rhythm. He said, but when you put my feet in wheels, it just doesn't it doesn't connect with the brain. We we're not meant to be rolling on wheels. <laughs> and for him to say that, it makes me laugh. <laughs> I can walk backwards. <laughs> okay, okay, Miss Robinson says, I tried to learn as an adult. It was a disaster. <laughs> it was a disaster. <laughs> I tried to learn as an adult. It was a disaster. The fear, let me see, of falling and kick kicked in. Mm. <laughs> now I'm ready to go skating. Oh, Latika, look at you. Is that right? I'm glad, Nancy. I'm glad you're having a great time. This, listen, listen. When we do this, I love a good laugh. I love nice, clean fun. I love happiness. I want to bring a smile to somebody's face, you know, and I figured doing this, it, 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 it makes people's hearts happy. You know, don't nobody want to just be sitting around, ain't got nothing to do, just, you know, let's come live and have some good fun. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> Derek. <laughs> Gina, stop laughing hard, it's contagious. I know it is. Derek says, my feet and legs always end up like a pretzel <laughs> in the end. <laughs> uh, Heidi says, I always have fun on this channel. That's great. Uh oh, somebody said, Latika, you better teach us. That's Saj. Uh 
Oh, thank you so much. And that's coming from, what's your name? You don't have a name. You said, Gina, you have such a kindred spirit. And I love your vlogs, listening to your laugh. Thank you so much. But I don't, I don't see your name. Latricia, come pick me up. That's what Sonia says. Thank you, Gina, for the fun. You're very welcome, my holy king. I'm so happy to have you in here when you come in. And that's to each and every one of you. Every single one of y'all, I love y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. And you, y'all make me happy. You do. You bring me so much peace and joy. Yes, you do. Uh, I'm usually okay skating until I go to the rink and I see someone fall. And then, <laughs> and then I start falling. Oh, yeah. You see somebody fall. Look, you look down at them, and next thing you know, you hitting the wall. <laughs> see? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all something so funny. I'm going to show y'all something so funny. So I was doing my eyeliner. And I got eyeliner in this fingernail. Can y'all see that? I couldn't get it out. I cut the whole fingernail down and I couldn't get it out. I couldn't wash it out. I couldn't do nothing. So it, it's, uh, what is it called? The eyeliner is waterproof. So washing it off didn't serve me any justice. And I said, I hope they don't see it because they're going to think my nails is dirty. But it's eyeliner. And I was so mad. The eyeliner was driving me nuts today. So here, I got more eyeliner. <laughs> Look at that. It's eyeliner. <laughs> it's eyeliner. I couldn't get it off. So I said, let's cover it up. I'm already running late. Let's go. <laughs> so I got a nice little eyeliner mold right there. <laughs> I said, the heck with it. Let's go. You got to go. You're running late. <laughs> One of those model bowls, yeah. Now see, this and this, this and this. I have a mole here and a mole here. But I, I, after putting my makeup on, I always make them darker. You know, because once you put your makeup on, you can't see them no more. So then I come back with the eyeliner and put the mole here and there. You know, to darken it up. Look, look let me see, hold on, hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Look like you been. I know, Derek. I know. <laughs> I said, the heck with that. I got to go. <laughs> I said, they ain't going to see it. Just cover your, just put your hair over there and you, you'll be okay. <laughs> it looks like you missed your eyebrows. <laughs> the wings were so good. Oh, catch you some catfish? My goodness. Can you remember back in the day, somebody says, can you, Robert, can you remember back in the days watching Soul Train, American Band, and Saturday mornings trying to learn the newest dances? I can definitely remember. Uh, and then I missed Dogman's message. I can remember back in the days watching Soul Train and just wanting to be up there on that stage dancing the, tro the Soul Train line with them. I, I mean, because they would, they would be doing some dances, right? And they had all the latest clothes on, and we did. We watched Soul Train. And so when I went skating, um, I'd like to say I looked like the Soul Train dancers <laughs> up on that stage when I was, when I was skating because I was dancing my little heart out. <laughs> Lisa says, me too. <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> I always thought so trained dancers were so cool. I know you had to, right, Miss Karen? The electric slide? Oh, my goodness, the electric slide. Where did Drew go? Oh, I don't know. Is he still here? Gina, how did you finally get the green color off your finger from the shamrock shake? Great question. It, it was just wash my hands a couple times. It, it came off. Oh, you did the cha-cha. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I did the electric slide, and I had a... What, what are you doing right now? Huh? 
I'm saying, what are you uh, zooming? Um, hold, hold on. Huh? Chapters. You putting a bunch of chapters in? Uh, yes. Put chapters in for it. Okay. <clears throat> You never got a chance to see the Soul Train. Okay, when Soul Train was here in Chicago, you said, I was finally old enough to go, and they moved to California. Oh, that's what Miss Robinson says. So Miss Robinson says, when Soul Train was there in Chicago, you was finally old enough to go, and they moved to California. Okay. I loved the electric slide. That song, oh, that song would come on, and I was ready. I, I, it's crazy because I can remember my, my my mom and my dad loved to dance and I always told people my mom and dad had lots of rhythm like when I tell you lots of rhythm I'm talking about both of them they both had rhythm I can remember my mom doing the electric slide and I can remember I feel like I can remember doing the electric slide with her or maybe learning it in the living room with her and I had to be very young. Uh, but I, I, I really like the, I like the cha-cha slide. I like the electric slide. <clears throat> I like the wobble too. I like the wobble. Mm -hmm. Tootsie roll, absolutely. Yes, it ain't the butterfly, it's the tootsie roll. Let me see. Yes, hi Heidi says I'll teach you the electric slide. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> T Smith said I love the electric slide. You couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> I, it's so funny. I love the way y'all talk on here because I can see how you speak. <laughs> you couldn't tell me nothing. That's what T Smith says. Okay, Gina, every wedding i attend always did the electric slide oh yay and so so here's the thing sonia did you join in and did you do it did you do the electric slide lisa says these dances are so fun the cupid shuffle that's a good one to the left bring it back now y'all one hop this time right foot let's go left foot let's go Slide to the left, <laughs> slide to the right, <laughs> crisscross. <laughs> Was it Michael Jackson who came up with the moon dance? Maybe. <laughs> it could be, though. <laughs> Heidi says, now that one I always had a little trouble with. <laughs> Oh, Ron says he did. Uh-oh, she said, yes, ma'am, I did. I was always the first one in line. Sonia, you're like me. When it comes, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually say that. It's so funny because let me tell you all this. So, um, my husband's family had a family reunion. And, of course, y'all know I was young. Uh, I went to the family reunion, and the family was dancing, right? I'm the only eyeball there, you know. But the family was dancing, and uh, I was sitting at the table with my husband's brother. And my husband was just, you know, like walking around, talking to everybody and stuff like that. And the family was in the middle and they was all dancing. The girls was dancing. The husbands was dancing with, you know, with their wives. And it was just really nice. There was music playing. <clears throat> and I believe the grandmom had just died. Their grandmom. And um, uh, later on that day, my husband's little brother said to me, he said, Gina, he kind of nudged me. He said, you, you know you wanted to get out there, didn't you? I said, yes, I did. I did, and I didn't get out there. <laughs> he knew me. He said, I can tell by looking at you, you wanted to get out there. I said, I know. I know. I was too shy, though. I was just too shy. <laughs> and then I told my husband, I told my husband that he had said that to me. And my husband said, would you do it 
if we had a chance next time. Next time, I'm getting my butt out there. I'm getting out there. I'm going to be the first one out there, like, like Sonia said. I'm going to be the first one in line. Like, come on, y'all. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> what does my holy king says let's see <laughs> oh man do you remember when his hair was so oh my goodness actually remember that didn't it happen at a pepsi commercial or coca-cola commercial Somebody took back their thumbs up. <laughs> okay, Miss Karen says, yep, it was Pepsi. Uh-huh. It is. Dancing is so much fun. Okay, so Derek says, I think it was. Uh-huh. So, so YouTube sent a message. Uh, go to YouTube Studio, Dakota. Let's see. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all so. Go to YouTube Studio and look at the message on the right. You know. Hold on. Go. You're in the wrong section. Go to YouTube Studio. You're in videos. No. Yeah. Look at that. <clears throat> Let me read it. Mm -hmm. It was during a Pepsi commercial. What? What are you doing? Okay, so YouTube says they sent they sent a, a message and they say this is a letter from Neil. Um, our 2023 priorities. Check out the latest on our 2023 priorities from YouTube. New lead Neil Mohan. I, I could be saying his name wrong. If I'm if I'm reading it wrong, Neil, I'm sorry. Uh, we're giving creators more ways to make money and tools for podcasting. And we're using AI to help creators expand their storytelling. So AI, correct me if I'm wrong. AI is artificial intelligence, right? So what does this mean? I need to know more. I need to know what it means. Okay? And then it says, so what's next for YouTube? Should I click on it? Okay, so I'm gonna click on it. And then it says, let's see, let's see, let's see. It says, a little over 15 years ago, I visited a company with an interesting intake on digital video. As I walked through YouTube's small office above a pizza parlor, I could see the promise of the platform. I thought about it for a moment over the last few weeks as, as my longtime friend and mentor, right? And they say the person's name. Hold on, let, let's try to get into it. Let's see, I don't wanna read all this to it. Let's see if I see something interesting. So they're saying that they, I, I'll have to read it, let me see. Here's how we'll work to support the, let's see. It's a whole, it's a whole thing here. I'm going to have to read this and I'm going to have to get back with y'all on this because I'm interested to see what they're talking about. I don't know much about AI, but I'm really, really interested. They got a video and everything on here. So Dakota, you want to read through it and see if you can find some information out and I can share it with them. But what the heck are they talking about? I'm curious to find out. I know they need to be more specific. I'm going to have, but they might be more specific. I just don't have time to read all of that. I might have to look at the video, read through everything and see what they're talking about. They're always expanding, changing and doing different things. And if you miss you don't want to miss the bus. You know, like on an opportunity, that could be absolutely amazing. You know, I, I don't want to miss the bus. And I, I kind of want to flow with the flow, with the flow if that makes any sense. So, um, 
I'm interested to see what they're talking about. <laughs> I am. I'm going to find out. <laughs> you said, right, I can understand that. Double Dutch bus. Yeah, you don't want to miss the double Dutch bus. Y'all, I thought I was so good at double Dutch. I, I am. I'm take time to read it. Because like I can't, like I said, it came from YouTube. See, I, I think, don't quote me. I could be wrong on this. I could be right. I think that Susan Wil Wil Wilowski, the person that used to be like the head or somebody really important with YouTube, I think she left and there's a new person that took over. Um, that may be his name. Uh, but they're saying that they got some really new interesting stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna on look into it. Dakota's looking into it right now. Let me see. You want? Oh, I do. Oh my goodness! Side says duck, duck, goose. Duck, duck, goose was so. Duck, duck, goose was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Now some people will get messed up. <laughs> Guess what? Because was Duck Duck Goose, remember you had to jump up and chase that person. <laughs> musical chair. Oh, musical chairs is when you would get messed up. Because if you got the chair and the other person didn't get the chair and both of y'all are running for the chair, somebody's going to fall. <laughs> somebody's going to fall. Have a good night, Mildred. Thank you for coming in. I'm going to go back and watch this live. Right, or be sitting on the floor. Uh-huh. I think, Duck Duck Goose, you were sitting on the floor. And then you had, li listen how agile and quick we were when we were little. I Ain't no way I can be sitting on the floor in Indian style right now. Listen, I'm too old for that. Ain't no way a fall or get pushed. <laughs> Ain't no way I could be sitting on the floor in Indian style right now in a circle with y'all. Somebody say goose on my head, and I got to jump up and go chase you. You know how long it'll take me to get up out of Indian style? Because uh, I ain't no spring chicken no more. I might look like a chicken right now with this yellow on, but <laughs> I don't know how long. I don't How long would it take me to get off the floor in Indian style? It's only for kids, right? Because <laughs> somehow their legs just, no, you know, they're sitting like this. Somehow they just, whoop, stand up and they're gone. I can't do that. <laughs> if there are people, okay, my Holy King says, if there are a line of people right now outside your door, right now, Gina, what would you do? I, I don't know. I'd be doing this. Look, let me show you. This is going to be funny. Hold on, let me show you. My Holy King is totally la Everybody's laughing at me. Let's see. Hold on. I'm not going to show my driveway. But I can definitely show my backyard. Oh, I'll, I'll show the backyard. <laughs> okay. I'll be on this speaker right here. Because y'all see my backyard. But I don't want to show my driveway or nothing. There, there's my backyard, right? And there's two cameras back there. You gonna hear me. You gonna hear me in the speaker, right? You gonna hear me. <laughs> you gonna hear me in the speaker. What? What's going on back there? What's going on back there? Hello? What's going on back there? Y'all need to say you in the wrong, wrong house. Wrong house. <laughs> Wrong house. <laughs> That's all y'all gonna hear. <laughs> Wrong house. <laughs> Wrong, uh -uh. Wrong house. <laughs> Wrong house. <laughs> uh, 
that's all you're going to hear. <laughs> I, I don't know them. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it will be some authority. <laughs> it won't be my voice. It won't, it won't even be my voice. <laughs> It'll be AI, artificial intelligence, like a robot saying it. Wrong house. <laughs> Wrong house. Y'all be like, oh, heck no, we better get out of here. <laughs> I know. Mm. I know, Ron, that's crazy. That's crazy. Just put some food on the porch. <laughs> Your voice change. I can change my voice. You said that's scary. I can change my voice. <laughs> that's how I am, Derek. That's how I am, Sonia. You talk about from playing Duck Duck Goose. I do too. I had to get on one knee and then finally get on the other knee and then push myself up. I would not, uh uh. I can do it nowadays. <laughs> Good night, Wanda. Thank you for coming in and joining us. <clears throat> what you got there? What is that? You doing time stamps? Okay. <clears throat> Don't do that. Don't you do that, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's laughing. <laughs> Hold on. Don't what? You said you're ghetto fabulous. <laughs> a beach whale. What is he talking about? Dog man, what are you talking about right now? You would be like a beach whale? I have no clue what you're talking about. He better get the moose. <laughs> You're gonna make me start coughing again. <laughs> I'm fun and honest. Uh, you said, Saj, I haven't heard that in years. Let me see what Saj is saying. Let, let me see. Hold on. I don't see it. What does Saj say? The new John. No, I, I haven't seen that. Stuck on the floor at <laughs> Duck Duck Goose. <laughs> Dog man said, I, I'll be stuck on the floor and <laughs> duck, duck, goose. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Ain't no getting up from Indian style like that. Remember, they tell you to sit in Indian style like this. Ain't no getting up that quick. You can't. It, it's only for kids. It, it's only for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Heath said, I'd be like, honey, I can't get up. You you done tagged the wrong person. <laughs> Cause I can't get up. <laughs> Me too, Derek. I'd be like, okay, yeah, you you done tagged the wrong person because I can't chase you nowhere. <laughs> to come get me up because the heck with that <laughs> I would get a it would take an army <laughs> it'd take an army to get you up oh Ron you know that's funny he said I'd be doomed <laughs> well we know we ain't gonna play that game if we ever meet 
If we ever meet, we ain't playing that game, y'all. What? Why your voice sound like that? Like like that? Fix your voice. What's wrong with your voice? Jeannie Young's meet and greet gone wrong. <laughs> I know. We just know we ain't playing that game. <laughs> we got to think of some games we going to play if, if we ever meet in person. <laughs> One thing we're going to do. This is if we all meet in person. If we all meet in person and y'all were to ever come over. Okay, hold on. Why is this so much harder for us? older people to get up off the floor i know because i ain't my husband told me one day he told me he said you was a spring chicken when we, when we met he said you ain't no spring chicken no more and we laugh so hard because it's so true i ain't no spring chicken no more uh what the heck oh what i was gonna say so one game that we would play if y'all ever came over I would definitely have to get <clears throat> get the uh, the badminton out. I would get badminton out. Okay, I would get uh, what's it called? Is it is it badminton? Am I saying the right? What's badminton, y'all? <laughs> Why, Sonya? <laughs> Katie, <laughs> we can all sit down, Deanna says. Yeah, I think so, Deanna, and have a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> right, Deanna? <laughs> uh, oh, okay, let me show y'all what badminton is. I felt like I forgot for a second what it was. There it is. We would play badminton with the, uh, the thing and the little birdie. We could play that. Okay, some of us, like I think if, if y'all brought a jump rope, I would definitely do double dutch. I would do double dutch for you. I would cook on the grill. I would. Now, I know some of y'all are going to be sitting down maybe playing cards. I don't know, Alan. I don't know what you're talking about. I, we would have music going. Charades. Oh, charades would be good. Okay, Saj, so that's an absolutely great one. Charades would be good. <laughs> Ty, Gina, would you sing? No. <laughs> That, okay, Miss Karen says, that's a good one, Saj. Yeah, Heidi, there you go. We'd be dancing. I'm sure we would be. We would be dancing. <laughs> I'm Mary says, I'm struggling just to get off the couch. <laughs> I, hey, I understand. I totally understand. <laughs> Heidi says, we'll be getting down on the ground, baby. <laughs> yes, we would. <laughs> oh thank you quentin quentin aggie hopefully i'm saying it right quentin welcome welcome to my channel thank you for coming in and if you all are uh, regular subscribers please welcome quentin into the live we appreciate you being here <laughs> oh my goodness I've seen people do that. I don't know how they do it, my holy king. I don't know how they do it. I don't know why they don't do like a, a like bobbing for apples or something. I just think if, is that mine? Mm -hmm. I think they should do, I don't know about the hot dog eating contest because people will get sick. They should do like bobbing for apples. You know, you go down in the water, you bring the apple up and see how many you can grab. Believe it or not, it's hard to, to grab an apple in the water, bite that baby, and come up and throw it out. <laughs> it, it, it sounds completely nuts, right? Ty had the best chat. Ty, that's great. 
<laughs> no, everybody will have their own little bowl of water with the apples. So nobody's sharing water for the apples. What's the difference? Does it have three and two? Three and two, yes? Mm -hmm. So that's the new one. Okay. You're going with your church with your family. That is absolutely amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Donna Marie, hello. No, I really think, okay, what if a person, <laughs> if they don't have teeth and they and they, can, they wouldn't be able to bob for apples? They may be able to pick the apples up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> no, but seriously, on a serious note. So we're thinking about some fun stuff that we could do. I think what we really would do on a serious note, if I was being serious, kicking it with Donna. Hello, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. Um, I think what I really would do, I think that I would have um, music, food and drinks for sure. Um, lots of places outside to sit. Um, maybe a card game or two going, seriously. Um, I think we would do water balloons. I'm serious about that. I know, I just went to the left field with that, right? Don't put all that on there. Don't throw it away. We use it for the other wings. Keep that sauce. Um, water balloons for sure. So I would have like a, a big cooler full of water balloons because somebody's going to get it with the water balloons. They don't hurt. It, it'll be hot outside. So you won't mind getting wet just a little with the little tiny, the little water balloons this big. <laughs> um, and like I said, music could just keep everything going. And just good conversation. <laughs> the heck with the badminton and all that stuff. <laughs> he said six more, <laughs> please. <laughs> Thank you. Old duck and sink game. I've heard of that. I know, Sonia, so you knew what I was talking about. He got ready to clean uh, the kitchen, and he got ready to pour out that beautiful sauce that we made. That's why I stopped and said, what are you doing? Don't throw that sauce away. So where'd you put it? Fridge. You Don't put it in the refrigerator. Just cover it up. Because cause, y'all, we'll grab some later. Just, we're just going to heat it up. Just cover it with foil, okay? And put it on top of the microwave. <laughs> Please, guys, just six more. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. I love when we have a good time. I love slip and slide. Slip and slide is a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, Alice Moore says, help me up, and I'll be able to chase you then. <laughs> if you help me up, then I'll be able to. Right, I think that's how it will go for all of us. <laughs> Did you watch a movie and have strawberry shakes last night? We didn't do none of the such. We didn't make the shakes. My husband said he wants them tonight, yeah, yeah. and we didn't even watch a movie. He went to sleep early. I was up half the night watching uh, YouTube. <laughs> I was, what was I doing? Oh, so the live last night, when I got off of the live, we edited the live, but then we also seen that we couldn't monetize it. It was already being monetized, so it did have, <coughs> excuse me, so it did have a commercial running on it when everybody would come into the live. But I wanted to put more commercials on it. <laughs> so I had tried, and it wouldn't let me. It was just like the thing was spinning, spinning, spinning. And I'm like, oh, heck no. So me and my husband went out, uh, took a ride in the car. It was late. 
And then we came back. My husband went to sleep. And then I was up for a couple more hours trying to monetize that live. It didn't monetize until this morning. So it did have one commercial going. I was able to put more on this morning. And that's how our night went. So we didn't do anything. But I think tonight we're going to um, have a good time tonight. My Holy King says, please hit the like button. That's free of charge. It is free of charge. Absolutely it is. So I got the new microphones, y'all, and I'm so excited to, um, I'm so excited at, to see how these ones work versus the other ones. And I'm going to make sure that I don't charge them too much. Yeah, because I feel like charging these too much could have maybe had something to do with the other ones failing. So I'm going to make sure, I'm going to always make sure when I plug these up, that once I see the battery is charged, I'm going to take it off the charger instead of leaving it on the charger for hours. You know, unlike, I probably shouldn't be doing that. So I'm going to really try my best to take care of these ones. So let me know, let me know. How was the sound when I started off on number 12? versus when I changed the sound to 24. T tell me what y'all think. Oh, I remember when you used to rent movies, yes. It was the same to you, okay. Okay, Dogman says the new mics made it sound far away. Kathy, we did uh, garlic parmesan chicken wings. Gina, you need to get on the Food Network. You would be awesome for a food and travel show. Oh, Quentin, thank you. Hey, listen, you never know. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And, and I just like to see what the good Lord has for me. You know, because what is for you will always be for you. So we'll see what happens in the future. You sound good. It was the same. The sound was about the same to me. I could hear it both ways. Okay. Okay. So for Deanna says, for me, it was fine on 12. Okay. And you said, I couldn't hear the difference. Okay. Gina, I really didn't notice any difference. Okay. Lots of hugs. Yes. Yes. Lots of hugs to you too as well. All right. You can read it. Okay. So what happened with the edit? Um, you just need to read the way some videos uh, I'm saying what's done is done? Yeah. You want to plug it up and have it charging? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> Sod said it was good. Okay, okay. Okay, that's great. How is his finger? You didn't notice the difference, says Sue. His finger is swollen, but you can tell that it's healing. Um, because the tip of his finger is not hanging like this anymore. It was like this. Even though from here to here, the tenant is broke, this part was hanging like this. So now when you look at it, it's hanging, it's like this. It's not as like this. But this part right here is so swollen. And it's giving him some pain. But we're going to do like they said. We're going to do like they said. Keep the thing on for six weeks. If at six weeks that finger droops, put it back on for another six weeks. And then after that, if there's issues, you go see the surgeon. Okay, so he's going to try his best to listen. He, he don't always keep that thing on his finger. And I say, put it on. Put it on. You know, and he'll put it on. <laughs> Bye, Rachel. Thank you for coming in. Do you cater? I, I don't cater. I do not cater. I have never catered. Never, never, ever catered. Um, it would be fun, but I have not catered. Welcome, Quentin, says Nancy. Kathy says, I, I love your recipes. Thank you. I'm so glad. Bye, Rachel. Thank you for coming in and joining us. We really appreciate you coming in. Is
is starting to stay lighter later. I'm happy with that. Gina, wouldn't you have to relocate if you if you go to the Food Network? Uh, most likely, I don't know where the Food Network is, um, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you, you hear people all the time. Uh, you hear you turn the front and the back on. You hear people all the time relocating because of their job, different things. Sometimes I feel like in life you have to do what you got to do. You know, so don't, don't close those curtains right now. It's way too early. Um, I, I wonder where they're located at. Or, you know what? I feel like... I, I do feel like... I feel like Food Network stars live all over. And on days that they're recording or they're doing a show, they are just there for that time. And then they go to their home when they're not recording. So I, I don't think that I would have to relocate. That's interesting to think about, though, how, how that would work. But like I said, you never know. God could have, you know, different other things planned, you know? Some record from their own home. They do. They do. I, I want to, um, what, what do you call it when you redo your kitchen? You call it renovate? What, what do you say? I want to redo the kitchen cabinets in here. I do. I want to redo the kitchen cabinets in here, and I want to paint them a beautiful color. The house that we was at last, uh, two years ago, I loved that wood in the kitchen. It was beautiful, and it made for a, a, a beautiful, it made for a beautiful picture when we were recording. And then when I came here and I saw the white cabinets, I thought, oh, heck no. But I love them. But I don't love them enough not to change them. <laughs> you know? So I think what we want to do, and that may happen very soon, I think we want to change these cabinets to a light gray. That's what I'm thinking. I just wonder how it's going to look. Because right now everything is open concept. That's what we were looking for when we moved. So, open concept is open, everything open. And that also, I feel like that also entitles you to have like white. When it's white, it looks more open. But I'm wondering how will it feel if we put some light, if we put light gray on the cabinets, is it still gonna feel open? And, and you know, I'm wondering that. Okay, so Debbie says, I prefer, I prefer you to be here on YouTube. Food Network, you have to play by their rules. Yeah, yeah. But who, but who says that I still couldn't do YouTube? Who says that I couldn't still do YouTube? Right? So that's something to think about. Isn't there Food Network stars and they still do YouTube? Somebody answer that for me. Okay, so you said the, okay, the gray would look nice with that backsplash. I, I think so. Let me see, let me see. Saj, okay, so Christopher says, Saj, I need a tapered fade. I'm going to let my curly hair grow out. Oh, okay. A lot of the chat, a lot of the chefs on Food Network are now cooking from homes like Rachel Ray. Oh, yeah. Heidi says, right. I really love white kitchens. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so Heidi says, I like it that way. Okay, and I totally understand. I understand, Heidi. Because like, like I was saying, it does make it look 
clean. It does, it makes it bright and it makes it open. What I don't wanna do is paint it light gray and it makes it look dark. Or it makes it look like it's not open anymore. I don't wanna do that. So I really gotta think about it. It'll be an exciting project. We're not gonna do it ourselves. We have to have somebody come out and do it because I don't know, I'm the last person that knows how to paint. Although I'm gonna be painting Dakota's room because his room has marks all over it. Ain't no telling how the kids do it. Somebody tell me what the kids do to their walls in their room. Because Dakota's room has marks all over it. Yes, it does. And I want, I'm going to get him, y'all. I'm going to get him, y'all. What did he do to the walls in the room? You still, I, I love the dark cabinets. Okay, 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 okay. I have light. What in mind? I don't like them in, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, light wood. Okay. Uh-huh. After you fix the hole, oh my gosh. I hope, Dakota, you sure you didn't put no hole in that wall? Huh? Oh, he, he can't hear me. Guess what? He got two earphones in, y'all, and he walking around the house doing like this. I was just talking to him. He ain't hear nothing I said. And see, now, me and his dad told him, we said, when you got the earphones in, have one in so you can hear us. Or in case something happened and we need to say something to you, have one earphone in. That way you can hear us when we're talking to you. And I was just talking to him, and he went like this down the hallway. Couldn't hear nothing I said. You... You hear me? Take one out. I heard you. Take it out because me and your dad told you to have one in. If you're going to wear it through the house, have one in, okay? What if we needed to tell you something really important? I would hear you. No, you wouldn't because I was just talking to you. Now, what I was saying, is there a hole in the wall in there? No. Is there a hole in the floor in there? There's no hole in the room. Okay. He said, no, there's no hole in the room. Okay, keep one out and put one in. If we had to tell you, let's go right now, you wouldn't be able to hear us because you got two. Okay, have one in. Start listening. Right? One in. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? You mad because it's public? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh Lord, he said a huge hole in the wall. I'ma go see. I'ma go see. I'ma go see. I'ma go see y'all. And when I go, I'm taking my husband in there with me. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> Oh, you said, Gene, I don't understand how people have carpet in their kitchens and in the bathroom. I don't know about all that. Yeah. Uh -uh. Now we have um, like the, you know, uh, the little carpets that you put in the bathroom, like when you get out of the shower or you get out of the bathtub. A rug. Yeah, a rug different rugs, like runner rugs, but not carpet in the bathroom or in the kitchen. I don't understand that either. Not carpet, a ru bathroom rugs. Yeah, the little rugs. <laughs> Okay, let's see, let's see.
Okay. Why is it? Let's see. Green beans and garlic bread sounds so good. Y'all, when I make green beans, thank you. Who's saying that? Heidi, thank you. When I, I'm experimenting with them, and I'm, I'm really enjoying them. I, I'm liking the lashes. I like the way they make my eyes look. Um, uh, but I don't think everybody can wear them. <laughs> I think some people don't know how to put them on. And I think, uh, you ever seen somebody with them on and one of them be coming down this way and the other one's just blowing in the wind this way? See, that's when I say no thanks. <laughs> you know, or somebody got a whole bunch of glue. You know, see that? that I'm not for all that. I'm just not for all that. It has to look professional. And they can't be the kind that look like this on your eyes. Could y'all imagine me coming on here and they look like this? Look like I got spiders hanging from my eye. That's too much. Some people don't know when to stop. <laughs> you know, you got to get the right size. You got to know how to put them on. And if you don't know how to put them on, don't put them on and go out in public until you know that they look right. <laughs> this is my first time. Yeah, this is my first time trying them. And I was not going to come on here until I figured out how to put them on, how to use them, how to clean them, how to, where to place them and all that. I want them to look natural as possible. And I don't want to look like I got bats flying off of my face. <laughs> like, hey, y'all. I don't want to come on here like that. <laughs> Thank you, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Zadi. That's what I was looking for. Looking for, looking for natural. Because y'all know, I don't know if y'all know, but my regular lashes are very, very long. And I put the uh, Maybelline uh, Stiletto uh, mascara on. And my eye, my regular eyelashes are long. So by getting the right size. And knowing exactly how to place them, I think that I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yeah, Heidi, I didn't want that. I feel like bet. I feel like you get ready to fly away. I've seen some. See, see, I'm one of those people that like to look at other people and learn from them. I've seen people like you see videos of girls going out in windy weather. <laughs> Somebody, ah, it's about to come off. See, I don't if that. If it's going to be windy, I can just wear my own eyelashes. <laughs> oh, it's going to come off. See, uh-uh. That's too much. I don't like to be embarrassed. Forget all that. <laughs> Sonia, that woman. <laughs> Sonia says, I wear eyelashes only when I'm going somewhere special. If I was on live, I would most definitely wear them. Okay, okay. <laughs> Katie says, I see. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Katie says, uh-huh, and I see lampshades. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, um, and I had to get my husband to to like approve it to me. I said, now, I said, I'm gonna try these lashes. I said, if there's if if I don't do them right or if they're too long, you tell me, and I ain't wearing them. I put one on and he was like, they look nice. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. And I thought, okay, okay. And then I just kept practicing, kept practicing. And here we are. <laughs> look like Mr. Snuffleupagus. I know, forget all that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie, you said that's what happened to you. What happened? Did you go out and it was windy and they blew up? <laughs> please, please tell me that didn't happen. I see too many. When I see, uh, Dakota, make sure that don't go down in that sink. Um, let me see. Thank you, Heidi. 
What is the character on Sesame Street? I see the woman be looking like that. I know. I know. <laughs> you said, hey, Bert. T-Love says at K-Coffee. I'm laughing so much right now. No, you don't want to look like that, dog man. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh, pretty, let me see your name. Pretty Brown. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> How about peanut butter apple sandwiches? Oh, listen. So now, when it... Let's talk about this real quick. That is so delicious. Now, a little bit. It has to be a red apple because you want that apple to be sweet. Turn around and make a regular peanut butter sandwich. Put a red apple slices in it, thin red apple slices. Talk about good. Now, if you use the green apple, which is sour, it ain't gonna taste right. But that, that's a good one, little bit. You always coming up with these different, you know, uh, what about this? But that's a good one, little bit. I have to give it up to you for that one. What did Miss Robinson say? Let me see. <laughs> the teen, the teenagers used to wear them when you was teaching, and you thought, "Oh Lord, yeah." Like I said, I I, I have to be natural as possible, natural as I can as possible. Mm -mm. Uh uh. <laughs> oh, you're going to make broccoli cheddar soup tomorrow. Yum. Katie says the green apple with the caramel only for me. I love the green apples with the caramel. It's the best, right? How about peanut butter and apple jelly? No, Ron, seriously. Peanut butter and apple jelly is delicious. Or apple butter. With no sardines, silly. <laughs> peanut, peanut butter and apple, apple butter. Ooh, that sounds good. Y'all, guess what I got a taste for? <laughs> Ron, Ron, don't drive yourself nuts with this. Um, I got a taste for, a, turn that water off. Turn the water off. Can you, you got two in your ear or one, okay? <laughs> Eyebrows like the juice, man. <laughs> oh, oh, what do I have a taste for? I got a taste for some pancakes. I might make some tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, I might make pancakes, sausage, and that might be all we need. Maybe an over easy egg. Turn that water off, Dakota. talking about Ty let me see he said yum some apples with peanut butter I have a non cooking spirit on me is that right so listen, Ty, let me ask you this question and be honest. Have you ever tried to cook anything with me? Have you tried to cook anything with me, Ty? <laughs> Snuffleupagus is the name. Ty, have you tried to cook anything with me? Ever, ever, ever. Be honest. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay, so thank you for telling me that, Saj. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so what happened when you tried to cook with me? <laughs> Y'all, don't drink. Please don't drink. Nope, <laughs> Jeannie Young saying it today. Don't drink. <laughs> See, your dad is calling you, and you can't hear him because you got the earphones in. Go see. I have to 
Gina, I tried on your live. What did you try to make with me? Be honest. Okay, Heidi says, I love cooking like Gina does. That's why I watch her all the time. <laughs> I'm not trolling. Ty, what did you try to cook with me on my live one time? Tell me. <laughs> Y'all, don't drink. Uh-uh, don't drink. Don't you do it. Don't drink. Gina Young's here to tell you don't drink. And don't drink and drive. Don't. I'm serious about that. Nope, none of that. Mm -mm. <laughs> you said your emotion. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Ty. <laughs> oh, chicken nuggets sound good. Do we have frozen chicken nuggets? I don't know. Or frozen chicken patties? Gina, I made that one recipe and I did it wrong. Ty, what was it? <laughs> what did you try to make? I just want to know. I'm just curious. <laughs> Karen says, y'all got me rolling. <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> Let's see. You, <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> Heidi says you're drinking, cooking. You're going to mess up the recipe. <laughs> going to start a fire. <laughs> you can't. Like, Jeannie Young said it live. Do not drink. Oh, I'm saying it with the, with the, uh, Straight face. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What it what it was um, was a dish. Let me read out how they put it. What it was um, was a dish I did wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay. I ain't even asking anymore. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Give it up for a good time here at the Young's house. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to sneeze. Ooh, I'm about to sneeze. Where's it at? I think it's like up here right now. It's getting ready to come out. I thought I had to sneeze. I, I kind of feel it coming on, but it ain't coming out. <laughs> Heidi. <laughs> Right, right. Who is that, Helen? Who is that? Who says that? Heidi. Oh, that's Heidi. Okay. Hold on, I got two Heidis. Heidi Fuller and Heidi Green. Okay, 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 okay. JV, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us here at the Young's House. JV, welcome to my channel. I appreciate you being here today. Let's see. <laughs> Yo, we've been on here four hours. And every bit of it has been so much fun. Somebody all in the chat, let me know. Are you having a good time? Did you have a good time? I made the fried chicken, Gina, and my family loved it. Oh, Heidi. Heidi, so which fried chicken did you make? Which one? I'm saying, did you make like uh, mustard fried chicken? It's 
been fun in the chat. Okay. Yep, fun times. Uh, okay, so you say I love apple pie and caramel apples. Oh, my goodness. Apple pie sound. Did I? I ordered dessert. And don't you know the man said he purchased it? It never came. I so saw I didn't even get. Go look outside and see if there's a dessert out there. Because I, I ordered a. Um, it was like a vanilla pudding cake. I ordered it, but it never came. I wish I had it right now because I'd love to have something sweet right now. But I will be making those strawberry milkshakes, so. Kicking it with Donna. Thank you for coming in. I'm so happy you enjoyed your time. I remember the apple pies from McDonald's. Oh, yeah. We still purchase those apple pies from McDonald's. I know outdoor dessert. Well, I mean, it's cold outside, so it would have stayed cold, and it would have been on my porch. But um, it just was a, I ordered a vanilla pudding cake, and the guy said that he picked it up. It was supposed to be dropped off. He must have left it in his car and ate it, because I sure ain't get it. Oh, okay, so Ty says, um, I don't have family, and it's just this and other social media. Well, I tell you what, Ty, guess what? You are my family. Ty, you are totally my family. And if Ty is your family, I say that Ty is your family. Ty, we love you, and we appreciate having you on here. Be careful with the drinking. I'm going to keep telling you, be careful what you're drinking. But we love you, and we're so glad to have you here every time you come in. I, I can understand what you're saying when you talk about family. I can understand that. I tell you that because y'all are my extended family. <laughs> y'all are definitely my family. <laughs> See there, look at there. Look all the family you got. So don't you go talking about you ain't got no family because guess what? They're right here. Right here and right there. On, on your screen, you see them all. We're here for you and we love you. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, and see, Ron says, I don't know how I make it without these lives. And that's why I come on. Because it's not just you guys saying it. It's everybody. We all have a good time. And like I said, when I come on here, I pray. I pray, Lord, help me to say something nice to somebody. Help me to bring somebody's spirits up. Help somebody to have a good day. I'm so serious. Help me to reach somebody. Help me to give somebody a good recipe. All that gets said to the good Lord before we come on here. And then when I get off, I say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we brought smiles to somebody's heart. Thank you, Lord, that we brought warmthness to somebody's heart. Thank you, Lord, that we had conversations that could bring people smiles and laughs and happiness and good thoughts. You know, that, that's what I'm all about. That's what I'm all about. And I love it. And I love y'all. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Elizabeth Ann says, Gina took me through my cancer treatments and I enjoy all of it. Oh, Elizabeth, that is so great to hear. Thank you for uh, sharing that. Yes, we do, T-Love. That, that's what we do over here. That's what we do over here. That's what we do over here. <clears throat> doesn't matter what you look like. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what color you are. You know, doesn't matter what ethnic you are. I am so serious. We are family over here. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, coffee. <laughs> 
Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Um, so Ron said, Ron said, helped him through, and, and Kathy, his wife, through cancer treatments. Absolutely. So you never know what's going on behind the scenes in people's life. So when you see that name, whoever they are, we'd like to welcome them in with open arms and a, and a, and a happy spirit um, so that they can come in a couple times a week just to have a good time and take their mind off of the world because there's so many, so, so many things that's going on in the world and I think everybody sometimes just needs a break, you know, and I want this to be y'all break where you can just say, here I am, Gina. I'm in pajamas, but I'm here and I'm ready to have a good time. And I'm going to show up. I'm going to give you a good time. <laughs> yes, Oteka. <laughs> I love it, Margaret J. I love it. And like Sonia said, I think it was Sonia, we come in here, it's like family reunion. <laughs> See, so I says I like people making feeling. I like pe I like making people feel good. Oh, is that right? Is that right? Is that right? Oh, you're welcome, little bit. Heidi Heidi Green says your recipes make my family happy. <laughs> That's great. That that makes me so happy to hear. I got all my sisters with you. Yes, you do. <laughs> Good night, Latrice. Been getting over COVID and just enjoying popping in when I can lately. Oh my goodness. Well, we're praying that you continue to get well, that you continue to be healed in Jesus Christ's name. And we're so happy that you came in just to join us for the little bit that you did. <laughs> Can you use chicken nuggets with the recipe you made today? Okay, Nancy, what a great question. Nancy, I'm going to have to answer that and say yes. <laughs> Let's just say there's a person out there. I, I'm one of those people that purchases the chicken nuggets frozen, right? Well, we do. We love them. They're delicious. You go ahead and cook your nuggets, whether you cook them in the oven or you cook them on the stove and a little tiny bit of oil. Get them cooked. Make that same butter sauce. Toss them babies in that garlic parmesan sauce and see what you think. I think they would be totally delicious. So I, I would say yes. I would say yes to that. Yes, Ty, absolutely, I will. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ron, stop. <laughs> Watch that water. I don't want that water to go in my computer. <laughs> it sure sounds good. It does. And like I said, I'm definitely one of those people that love the frozen uh, chicken nuggets. I do. I, I, we even buy the chicken nugget patties, or not chicken nugget patties, the chicken patties that are like this. Throw them babies in the oven, and then put a slice of cheese on them, put them on a sandwich, a little bit of mayonnaise, and enjoy it with some lettuce. Or you can fry them in a tiny bit of oil, put them on a sandwich, um, cheese, mayonnaise, or if you like ketchup, I love them. They are so delicious. Yeah, okay, Little Bit says you can make it with the chicken nuggets out of a sandwich. Yeah, you can. Put about six of them babies on the bread and see what you get. You're going to get a sandwich, right? You like barbecue sauce on yours, okay. Have you tried Impossible Chicken Nuggets? Tea love. I have not. Are they good? Are they good? You make them sometimes too, says Oteka. Okay. 
excuse me, y'all. Oh, T Love says they're really good. Is that right? So tell me, tell me what name brand. And then when I come back and watch the live, I can purchase them. Oh, Margaret, you made my Pepsi wings. Did you like them? Okay, what's on the menu for Wednesday? Um, Heidi Fuller says, I don't think I'm going to like it. <laughs> Sometimes, let, let's see. Chick, a, with Chick-fil-A sauce, okay. Impossible burgers are good. Taste just like, I know, I like the Impossible burgers. They do, they taste delicious, right? So, tell me the name of the, uh, tell me the, the, the name of the uh, Impossible Chicken Nuggets. Oh, that's the name. Okay, I'll try them. I'll try them. Let me get on Instacart right now. Yo, I'm, let's see. Let me see. Let me tell about how was your order. I didn't, I didn't get my dessert. That's how my order was. Heck no, I didn't get my dessert. Let's see. So, impossible. Hold on, y'all. Let's see. Chicken nuggets. Okay, hold on. I'm still with y'all. Okay. I love chicken nuggets, y'all. I really do. Let's see. I'm going to get some regular ones. <laughs> 32 ounce. How much is 32 ounce? Is that the biggest bag? Should I get Banquet or Tyson? Banquet or Tyson? Dakota washing dishes, Dallas. Dakota, he got the water running and he ain't even over there. Turn the water off, boy. It's a chicken nugget thief. Let's see, how about we get, I'm gonna get Banquet versus Tyson. So I'm gonna get Banquet chicken nuggets and now I'm gonna get the uh, Impossible Chicken nuggets. Hold on. I probably type faster than anybody y'all know. I type fast. I type fast. Tyson? Okay. Hello, Shell Cook. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Welcome. Don't forget the Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay, let me get the, okay, impossible ones, okay? Are they called impossible, uh, hold on. Are they Morningstar? Meatless chicken nuggets? What the heck? Oh, impossible. Chicken nuggets, they're called impossible. All right, I'm going to try them. It's a bag for $9.59. All right, and so I'm going to get chick, chick, chick. Oh, I can't even say it. Hold on. No, Chick-fil-A sauce. Hold on. Where the heck? Okay, Impossible Nuggets, Chick-fil-A sauce. Hold on. F I don't know how to say Chick-fil-A. Okay, there we go. Where's the Chick-fil-A sauce, y'all? You, you, you better make sure that island isn't wet. I don't want my computer wet. Okay. Morning Star Plant Base. No, not morning. Yeah, I got, I got uh, Impossible. Okay, let me find a Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay, I want the smallest one because I don't want a big bottle and I don't use it. So the smallest bottle of Chick-fil-A is a 16 ounce for $5.19. Okay. All right. And what else do I need? I want my vanilla pudding cake. Hold on. Vanilla pudding cake. <laughs> oh, skeezer. I bet you he kept my cake and ate it in his car. 
Yeah, I got it. Vanilla pudding cake. I'm going in for that. And then what else do I need? Do I need anything else? If your shopper can't find this, what else can they get? Oh, man. Get a half of vanilla pudding cake. How about that? That's what I'm asking for. Okay. What else do I need, y'all? Is there anything else I need? Tell me what I need or what I need to get that we can eat. Oh, Saj. Said he tore that cake up. I bet he did. Because it showed that he purchased it. It didn't come to this house. All the other groceries came. Oh, you said Morning Star's nasty. Okay. It's a spirit of I do what to order. Somebody tell me what I should. You say, yep, he ate it. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're, I'm ordering... Um, I'm ordering my food right now. I was asking everybody, what should I be getting? Because I don't know. I want I want something. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I want. I want something different. So they said, try the um, chicken nuggets. So I bought some regular chicken nuggets, and then I bought the uh, impossible chicken nuggets with the Chick-fil-A sauce. So I'm going to try that. And then Little Vic came up with a great question and said, can you do, you got to wipe that. Can you do chicken nuggets with the sauce that I made today? I said, you might can, and it sounds delicious. You have, you spraying too much. You about to make me cough, Dakota. Spraying that Lysol. Oh my goodness. You said tea, let's see. Tea love, I... Uh, have heard that. Okay, I don't know. You don't know what you're eating? Yeah, sometimes I, I, I'm like that. It's like, what the heck are we going to have? Let us know how you like it. I will. Let me show you all my shopping cart. What, so what I ordered. I know I'm going to put some more in my shopping cart. Let's see. They say they can get it here by 9.30 tonight. So, I got, well, y'all, I don't know if you can see it. I got the vanilla pudding cake, regular chicken nuggets, impossible chicken nuggets, and chick filet sauce. So, we'll see. We'll see how it tastes. If it tastes horrible, I'm coming, I, I'm, I, if, it, if it tastes horrible, I'm going to let you know. I didn't like it. It, it should be a free dessert. <laughs> T Love, do you do your shrimp boil? Let me see what you're saying. Oh, that does sound good. Let me see what Ron just said. Was it Ron? Or Gina, what's on the menu for Wednesday? Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know right now. I don't know. Um, I think I need a couple of days to think about it. What's on the menu for Wednesday? Any ideas of what y'all want? Just throw some ideas out there. Oh, we, we ain't going to vote on it and all that. But just throw some ideas out there. Something easy, quick, and simple that we can do on Wednesday. And then we can sit down and have a good time. Did I say lard or, or Lysol? <laughs> I was trying to tell, he just spraying Lysol like he nuts. Like it ain't strong. It's not, it That's enough. Good. It does not smell good. I got air freshener for that. <laughs> it's dis That's it's disinfectant. Lying. He's lying. spraying it like it ain't about to make me cough. <laughs> Y'all help me, help me. <laughs> but he did get the kitchen cleaned up thank you Dakota I appreciate that let's look at the kitchen y'all let's see what he did okay 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 thank you thank you sir
Go check for that hole. Oh, Lord, I know. Gina, I love you. <laughs> but, what's the but, Ty? You said, I love you, but, but what? <laughs> Ty, what are you talking about? I love you, too. He missed a spot. <laughs> Dakota, you missed a spot. It's messed up. Where? <laughs> he said, that's messed up. Where? <laughs> Just surprise us. Okay. Uh, so, for right now, I have no clue what I'm cooking. I don't know what I'm going to cook on Wednesday, but I want it to be something delicious. Cynthia says, awesome job, D. What what you want to be called, Dakota? I like D. He said he likes D. We call him Coda, like Coda Bus. <laughs> I hated that he said he hate that name. That's the first time I'm hearing that. <laughs> this is the first time I'm hearing that. I'm gonna have to tell you. Oh, okay, that's okay. I'm gonna have to tell you, Dad, you hate that name. Okay. <laughs> That's the first time I'm hearing that. We always be called him Coda Bus since he was little. Coda. Like K-O-T-A. <laughs> okay, Saj. Okay, okay, okay. Yay, Dakota. <laughs> you better try that. <laughs> Oh, pizza. Can you make blueberry muffins sometime? Alan, I can. Alan, that sounds so good. Oh, you said Tyson. Okay. I got I got the banquet. Hold on, y'all. Let me answer my phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, honey. I'm still on. Everybody's listening to us. <laughs> He's laughing. I can hear you laughing in the basement. <laughs> I'm still on. Say, say hi to everybody. I, lo I love you too, honey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, he hung, up. he hung up before I could ask him. Let me ask him, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Because this is important and y'all want to know. I'm calling him back. <laughs> Baby, so we're going to watch. Everybody wants to know, and they're listening to you live. Uh, are we watching our movie tonight, and do you want the strawberry shake? You definitely want the strawberry shake. And we're going to watch a movie, okay? <laughs> okay, we're going to hold you to it. All right, love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> He said, okay, go ahead and shoot it to me. Shoot it through me. What, what you need? <laughs> yeah, we're going to watch a movie and I want to shake. <laughs> okay, I got the, oh, Morning Star. I didn't get the Morning Star. I got the Impossible uh, Nuggets. And I got Banquet Nuggets because I, if I don't like the Impossible, I'm going to eat those Banquet ones. And I got, uh, what's it called? Uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. Have you made peanut butter cookies? Alan, let me tell you this. I know he better not go to sleep. Um, Alan, I have a, a peanut butter cookie recipe that only has three. Um, I have a peanut butter cookie recipe that only has three ingredients. And it, the cookies are so delicious. I'm going to have to share it with you. Let me see that, Dakota. Because ain't nobody stupid. Let me show y'all something. No, give it here. Let, no, give it here. Give it here. Ain't nobody stupid. Y'all, tell Dakota ain't nobody stupid out here. Let, let, watch this. Let me, let me show y'all something. No, give it here. Give it here. Give it here. Now, look what he did. I looked over at my computer, and this is what I see. Right? This is what I seen in my computer. I knew not to go off. I knew not to say nothing because I knew it's fake. It's fake, y'all. He didn't break my computer. It's fake. It ain't, it ain't real. 
That's the stuff that the kids can do nowadays. That's the stuff that they can do nowadays. They can trick you. They can trick you. Guess what they did? Guess what they did? Him and our other son on Father's Day a couple years back. They turned around. Where's my messages? Am I live, y'all? Something's going on with the messages. Well, let me see if I'm still live. Am I still live? Because I don't see nobody's messages. Hold on, I don't see. Where's the messages, y'all? Am I live? Can you go? Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. I'm live. Yes, we are. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. So, Dakota just put the broken screen on my computer to make me freak out and think. Let me, let me, let me see. To make me think that my computer was broke. Y'all didn't see me. Y'all didn't see me budge. Guess what? Because a couple years back, him and our other son, they going to prank my husband on, father, on Father's Day. <laughs> How cruel are these kids? Guess what they did? We had this beautiful flat screen TV in the it's living room. In the living room. Huge. They're going to put the broken screen on the screen. And I come down there. Look at that. That's what he just did to my computer. I knew it was, I knew he was lying. And, and I came downstairs and both of them got this stupid look on their face. And I'm thinking, what just happened? And they both looking at me like, oh, heck no. I go upstairs and I tell my husband, I said, go downstairs, look at your TV. That's what I said. And my husband had just told them, my husband had just told them, listen, don't be playing, acting a fool down here. Hey, you know, you don't want to break nothing. Don't be acting getting stupid in here. Right? And so when I go upstairs, I say, go look at your TV. That's all I said to my husband. Boom, boom, boom. He went down the steps and I could hear my husband getting on him. He was like, and I had just told y'all, don't be in here jumping around, acting like a fool. Now y'all done broke my TV, right? The boys is laughing, both of them, and Dakota's one of them, just laughing. And they're going to say, it's fake. It's a fake screen, right? It's fake. <laughs> and my husband couldn't believe it. He just walked away. Like, okay. No, okay. Crying, I'm no. I'm never gonna forget no, that. She, she came down and found out it was fake. She was crying. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> Let me see it again. Let him see it again. Let him see it again. Oh. That's all the crazy stuff they can do nowadays. Look at this. I, I knew not to budge when I seen that. I knew it was fake because I remember what you did to your dad's TV, trying to act like it was <laughs> it was broke. <laughs> I ain't going for it. <laughs> they can do all kinds of stuff, y'all. Listen, there's this whole thing where, have y'all seen the thing where uh, people can, it's like, it's like there's this thing on the phone, right? You can download it to make it look like it's the news on your TV. Just listen. So you can download something to make it look like the news is playing on your TV, right? And it will say, you can program your area. So let's just say you live in uh, New York, wherever in New York, uh, something New York, right? It'll say attention right it looks like the news is playing attention everybody that lives in these areas take shelter some skin rehab right i think this is not fair <laughs> it's not fair because they will make somebody's heart skip a beat by doing these little silly stuff it's not funny to me have y'all heard of that Take shelter right now, grab food, grab water, or they'll say, get out of the house and go to the nearest city. You know, if my kids did, did that to me, it's just too much. Let me see. I don't know if we can play it. Can we play that? Here, let me just show them. Can we play that? How you know? 
people have done a bunch of pranks on this one. Okay, okay, so look, look what it is. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. So could you imagine this being played on your TV and you just totally walking in and thinking this is real? Just like and, and then they, stop it for a second. And then they record their parents grabbing, grabbing food, grabbing water, grabbing the babies. Grabbing the babies with pajamas on, getting ready to run out the house, and then your kids sit there and tell you it's just a joke. It's just a joke we just playing. That right there, that's not okay. They got access to too much. So let me show you this. So this is what your TV will look like. Emergency broadcast, <laughs> right? This. Um, th look, and it says this is not a test. That would freak you out, right? And then let me hear, let me hear what it says real quick. And then it's got the, eh, this is not a test. Listen, listen, y'all. You will look at the TV and say, what's going on? This message is being broadcast by the Department of Defense of the <laughs> This message is being broadcast by the defense of something. They got, they, these kids now, they, <laughs> Sonia said, no, never. No, never. She said, I can't imagine this. And it says at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, multiple identified objects were confirmed. <laughs> right, forget that. They got too much access to stuff that can trick you. I, I'm always on it now. <laughs> I'm always on it now. When I see my screen was broke, I said, uh-uh, he, he trying to get me. He trying to get me. He trying to set me up for the woo-woo, and I ain't going for it. It does. Purple Love says it sounds so real. <laughs> it does. But they can put that on your TV. If you see it, don't you go for it. But then what if it's the real news? <laughs> you know? <laughs> She's actually CNN. <laughs> he said, what if it's the real news? <laughs> Who's that looking at my window? Ain't nobody in that window. Guess why? Because we closed it. Vader says it's a prank. Yes. Okay, so Nicole said, this is, it sounds so real. <laughs> I know. I know, Sonya. And maybe I will. I'm talking about real good. <laughs> I need to. I need to. Y'all see he gave me them hot wings the other day. We we had to turn the fan we had to turn the fan on. We had to turn the fan on. I was so hot. And they said, my husband said, Are you are you hot? I said, my mouth. <laughs> My mouth is. Dakota gave me some hot wings. He told me this a wing challenge. <laughs> just talking about it makes you want Yeah, just talking about it made me want some water. Look at that. <laughs> okay, Saj, you help me. Saj, you help me. All of y'all. Sign you too. <laughs> Let me see. Sonia said, it, Sonia said, hold on. It looks too real. I would probably be panicking like crazy. <laughs> so I seen, I seen this one. The baby wasn't dressed. I mean, the baby wasn't naked or nothing like that. The baby had on like pajamas and no socks. They was throwing all, they was throwing food from their cabinets in the baby bag. <laughs> Baby milk and everything. They had the baby under one arm, and they was ready to book out. And the kids was like, eh, it's a prank. It's a prank. <laughs> they thought the news was on, honey. And guess what they did? You take the remotes. They, they was taken in the prank. They took, they took, the, they took the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> they took the batteries out of the remotes so the parents couldn't change to another channel. <laughs> Rihanna got a big head. Are you looking at Rihanna? That's not coming from me, Rihanna. Rihanna, I absolutely love you. That's coming from Ty. 
That's coming from Ty. That's not coming from me, Rihanna. I absolutely love you. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <coughs> oh, okay, Debbie. I like it. I like it. I have they only got three ingredients and they are so delicious I made these years ago and I was so astonished like how do they even rise they rise they're soft they're delicious you can taste it's just the best it's just the best so feel free to look at my channel for that three ingredient <clears throat> um, peanut, <clears throat> peanut butter cookie recipe. <clears throat> oh, that is that. Oh, okay, I'm just now seeing your uh, Ron's second message. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay, you said, okay, I got you. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I hope nobody wasn't in the bathroom. Oh, you hope nobody was in the bathroom when they did that. And I think what the kids were doing was like putting it on every TV in the house or every TV that was on, you know. And then taking the batteries out of the remote has to be one of the most horrible things ever. And then, guess what else you would have to do? I think that the kids were taking, like, the parents' phones because <laughs> I would, <laughs> like, I would want to call somebody, right? And if you have access to your phone, then, you know, if it's a prank, you don't want, you know, you don't want to call somebody. <laughs> You know, you don't want to call your grandpa. Like, grandpa, get ready. Mama, way to come get you. You know, you know, you, you know. So I think the parents were, I mean, the kids were taking their phone. <laughs> but I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good pranks. Those pranks are scary. Y'all heard how real it sound. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. You like the fireplace? Oh, thank you, Alan. Absolutely. <laughs> Heidi says, that's crazy. Grandpa Christopher getting scared hiding under the covers. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's the kind of tricks that they like to do. And I'm not with it. Let me see. <clears throat> Give it up for the good time today, y'all. Give it up for the good time we had. <clears throat> Let's see. We've been on here about five hours. So we'll stay on here for another 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, we would have been on here for five hours. We had a good time. I wouldn't change it for nothing in the world. <clears throat> Alan, Alan says, what time should me and my family uh, get to your house for the movie? <laughs> I, I didn't know, Alan. <laughs> I didn't know what time. <laughs> Fun channel, says Heidi. That's great. That's great. <laughs> so, 
So what is the last name, Ty? Is it Israel? 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 Ty Israel? <clears throat> so I'm going to surprise you, like Sonia said, about what we're cooking on Wednesday. It'll be, thank you, Ron. It'll be something delicious. It'll be something quick, something that's easy to make. Are you? You about to bash some uh, church's chicken? Okay. You're not gonna be able to sleep. <laughs> How come? <laughs> How come? <clears throat> you should sleep good tonight with good memories. Or what you could do? You could turn the live, turn the live on, <laughs> on your TV, and just fall asleep to the live. Huh? Huh? You just plugged. Oh, uh, what? You just plugged your channel and they said they can't sleep. <laughs> what? I'm supposed to. He told me you just plugged your channel when they said they can't sleep. I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to do all I can to get my channel out there. Y'all, listen. <laughs> oh, he said because that. He said because that Amber Alert sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an Amber Alert sound. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Oh man. I am. I'm supposed to plug my channel, right? Somebody can't sleep? Heck, turn the channel on. Watch the channel until you fall asleep. Y'all, on a serious note, when I first started this channel, I told y'all, I was putting up posters of my channel all through the hospital. Uh, let's put some up here, let's put some up here, let's put some in the hallway, let's put some uh, right before you get step on the elevator and I came in the next day and they were gone. And I put some more up. <laughs> and I came in the next day and they were gone. But you gotta do what you can to push your channel out there. Dakota talking about you plugging your channel because somebody said they couldn't sleep. I don't care. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, Renee says if we put it on your channel, we are never going to sleep. <clears throat> okay, I would have got. I know that's right, Sonya. Absolutely. Especially pranks like that, right? That's where it goes too far. <laughs> that's where it goes. Because my husband was mad about his TV. He was like, oh, I could hear him. Because I, I went back upstairs. My husband was like, I told y'all. I told y'all don't be down here wrestling and being silly and whatever. And I was just thinking, oh, no. Here we go. On Father's Day. That's what I said, right? too. I said, on Father's Day. <laughs> yeah, and then they're going to say, Dad, we're just playing it. It's just fake. It's a fake screen. Yes. Like, how are they allowed to do that? <laughs> she said, what is it? Oh, that's okay. That's nice. But I don't want it. <laughs> Y'all, y'all see how my face gets so oily. Y'all see how many times I blotted it. But then you can also see how it's still oily, especially right here. Just oily, and I it drives me nuts. Up to 5 a.m. watching the channel. Zani, that's what I want for you, though. <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. <laughs> you said I'll be up to 5 in the morning. That would be great. <laughs> Not really, but you know, if you ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Just leave it on when you sleep. Turn the volume down. <laughs> Y'all are laughing. <laughs> what a great life. What a great, great, great life. Thank y'all for being in my life. Thank y'all for loving me. I love y'all back. I really do. I had a great time today. 
I'm glad I had the energy. I hate when it's days that I come on here and I'm tired and I just try my best. You know, like that other day. I was so stinking tired and I was just like, oh man. Oh man. I mean, I was tired. But I'm thankful I got some sleep last night. A lot of fun, says Heidi. Thank you. Oh, okay. Coffee says, we love you more than you know. Thank you. Oh, Zoddy, thank you. That's great. <laughs> Ty, thank you. Give, give me a hug, y'all. Give me a big old hug. I love y'all so much. Hey, listen, and it's honestly, it's never goodbye. It's I'm going to see you later. Because y'all know I'm going to see you. Y'all know I'm going to see you on Wednesday. And I'm going to see you Monday and Tuesday because I'm doing a video. I'm going to see you Wednesday on the live. Thursday and Friday. And then we're back Saturday again having lots of fun. <laughs> hey, listen. And one thing I want y'all to do. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know. Tell the world about Gina Young. What I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Had a blast. Yeah, I was upset about something. You came in here and it made my day. Debbie Parker, that's great. Because believe it or not, I prayed for that. I prayed for peace and happiness for everybody that comes in. And that's definitely what I had today. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lynette, I love you too. Absolutely, absolutely. Gina, let's do another hour. Oh, I'm just playing. Oh, my goodness. Sonia. Oh, I was going to say okay. But I ain't saying okay now. I ain't double backing. I ain't double backing. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. And then I would have said I'm tired. <laughs> After just saying that I'm not tired. <laughs> no, five hours. Heck no, it's five hours. <laughs> Four more hours, my goodness. I love y'all. So much I do. Um, I gotta figure out what we can make. What can we make on Wednesday? We'll see. Heck, we might turn around and make some sloppy joes. You know, sloppy joes will be cooked. They'll be done. It's going to be enough that we can have for at least two days. And then we can just sit down and chit-chat for a little bit. You're welcome, little bit. Thank you for coming in. Little bit, I appreciate you. <coughs> that cough is whooping my butt. But there is a good Lord that's going to take care of it. <coughs> I do. I got to get this milkshake done. <coughs> <coughs> Lynette, you missed it. Oh, my goodness. You can always go back and watch the replay. Oh, my eyes are watering now. And I'm getting off. See, it's, see ya. Wednesday. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Good night. Love y'all. <coughs>